not a doctor that made you not. Nails. Every episode and movie is in that VR world. <laughs> I just uh -huh. don't know how I feel about this. No, no. Like, get, okay, again, we have to retouch base on what we just talked about. We just discovered that there is a VR chat server where you can watch all of Veggie Tales where people roleplay as their Veggie Sonas. <laughs> I do I was it. Gonna say, like, there's some. There's like. I'm not gonna say anything else. I never <laughs> when, when, okay, okay, when you know, the you're world gonna... and and my well, consciousness Monty, gets uploaded because... to the mainframe, I want to live there. Okay. Well, I will Monty, I happily live out the rest you, of my days as a gotta, durian. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep talking to Monty. Where can they find you? Okay. Um, well, you can find me not watching Veggie Tales on VR Chat because I don't have Why VR not? yet. Soon we'll watch. <laughs> Are you watching Vampire Night instead? I, okay, I was tempted to, but then I realized I have better uses of my life and my time. Um, <laughs> Why would so, you? I was the, the one manga's was better, anyways. Oh. Yeah, the manga's way better. Where you can get full yaoi hands in the weird free, like early two thousands eyeballs that freak me out. Um, oh, and you can and you can slow down the finger sucking action. It's great. Um, so no, you. I have not been watching. Um, <laughs> Vampire Night. I am not carrying that burden. I'm very sorry. I should be for the sake of humankind. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, Vampire Night is a very, very bad anime. I'll just put it that way. Arguably bad. Anyway, um, hi, I'm Monty Glue. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, posting pictures of my cat and my Warhammer army. Um, I've kind of hit a bit of a rut with my Warhammer army because I just have like big units to paint and I can't paint my blood crush because I have to wait for more. Um, so I'm probably going to start a second army. Oh, oh, damn it, I knew it! Oh, I fucking knew it! The my show. friend, my I, friend Darian said, congratulations, you are now a Warhammer player. When I told yeah, him, exactly and I was what happens just like... You're gonna yeah. pawn off that second army on your younger sister, like I did. Wait, you 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 yeah. have allowed your you have allowed yourself to become Sisyphus. I'm sorry. Oh. At least Being the second army is rubbing its grubby little hands. Cool. Oh, it totally is. But but at least <laughs> if the second army I want is not going to be as expensive as my first one. I can't um, help but I I blame myself getting that excited for a chaos dreadnought Christmas morning that my parents got for me. God damn mm. it! What a fool I, I was. Uh, I uh I'm probably gonna run salamanders as my second army because I oh really yeah really that's fuck yeah I that's just cool. like they're, they're big great boys and I love them anyway um so you can find me posting about that sort of stuff on my Twitter I also checked out PT and scared myself so that that's all fun um <laughs> at the horror game yeah anyway in terms of streaming uh tomorrow mm. we're gonna be playing more Devil May Cry where I feel bad we're at the near the tail end of the entire series it's true yeah um it's fun and when I have to choose a character out of the three characters it's actually a hard choice um so I've, I've been having a lot of fun with five I think one and five are my two favorites I really like one and five four was really good but five just does four way better um and then on Sundays Oh my god. Um, so Sunday got wild because we're doing a Final Fantasy IX and we're at the point where I have to do a bit of grinding just to level up my characters. Turns out I can go to one of the areas and fight a level 60 dragon. You found uh, it! Oh, yeah. You found it. <laughs> Here's the thing though, Kurt. If you teach Quinna uh, death level 5, you can instantly kill those in one shot and get all the experience points. Uh... So I did that for a while because that was a thing I could do. And we leveled up uh, all my characters. But we're going to have to probably do a bit more grinding on Sunday. But it's been really, really fun. The game's amazing. And we're at kind of a pivotal point, I think. So very excited. And definitely come check it out i'm uploading all the parts to youtube despite youtube's bad standards <clears throat> there you go that's me sorry i talked so long i uh, no problem hey hey bosca where can they find you uh they could find me at arkov on both twitter and right here on that's Twitch. not that's arkov that's arkov. you what up that, like, i'm working at, at this anyway, point though sorry. like the joke is so bad that people are gonna actually think that's you good you can find me Arkov at twitch.tv slash no. Arkov, <laughs> where we want to thank everybody for coming to watch on a me and basis like this. Kurt, I swear I will fly to Vancouver and no, break you just to punch you in the You're face. You're not allowed to come here, American. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that's not entirely true. There's actually an application process where you can get approval to travel into the country. I you would know that if you watch the news. Um, so <laughs> if we go, if you go to twitch.tv slash Arkov, he's raising money for a good cause. And I, Arkov, want to thank everybody that came by on Tuesday for Halo Nights, which is becoming a weekly thing. Next week on Tuesday, we're going to be going through Halo 4. So definitely come by and check that out. We beat ODST. Uh, shout out to Burnout Vaughn and Filthy Casual for joining us on our four-man ODST team. That was a lot of fun. 
Also still powering through Yakuza. And on Sundays, it's the Murder Cave. And then on Saturdays on twitch.tv slash Arkov, you can join... Or rather, on Twitch.tv slash The Unexpectables, you can join I, Arkov, along with the whole gang, for the Prince Division at 7 o'clock PST, a futuristic fantasy game where if you want to take all of the cool stuff you love about The Unexpectables and put it in modern day, boom, got you covered. And that's where you can find me, Arkov. Now you may continue, Kurt. You got uh, super cursed, by the way. Not a spoiler alert, but it's kind of vague. But you, 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 oh boy, you and Sarah <laughs> got into some trouble, but that's okay. <laughs> Guys, I you gotta know, tell else? you, when are we gonna find Bosco? We gotta find him again. Hey, there's someone else who's in trouble. There's Zito. Get him and tell us where you're up to. <gasps> what? I tell heard us what you're that. up to, man. <laughs> it's like deer it's in a headlight, dude. Move. <laughs> but, oh, sorry. My my body seized there for a hot minute. Hello, everyone. It's me, Chris Zito. You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh CC Backlash on Twitter and the Everigan Almanac on Patreon. Where D and D stuff before the year goes out, I'm gonna get the Hanu out, which are basically monkey people. So, yes, I am allowing you for once and for all Become in D and D to reject humanity and return to monkey. Also, it comes with uh, seven brand new homebrewed spells in my first ever foray into making magic. Is one of them banana peels on the ground? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Son of a bitch. Perilous. <laughs> let me read it for you. Perilous peel. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm I'm not hold on. Hold on. Do you now get the, do you by the way, do you get these if you get one of the question mark boxes along the track? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I could lead that in I could lead that into a hey, we play carts on on uh, my to. channel. I was trying to. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Perilous peel, level one transmutation. You can take an object and coat it in slippery paste like slime. Any non magical item you touch becomes slippery for up to one minute. Any creature that attempts to grab the item under this magical effect must make a strength saving throw versus spell save DC or spend their action dropping the item. If the target walks through the space of the item under this magical effect, the target must make a dexterity saving throw or versus your spell save. On failure, the target falls prone. The target, if the target must use its movement to stand up from being prone while within the space of the slippery item, they must make a deck save again. On failure, they are knocked prone once more. Well, <laughs> you should have warned me how long that was. All right, that's, that, was... yeah, that's my turn. You, you there you go. Play, <laughs> play, 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 games on Dream. Oh, Goomba. Yeah. Goomba. Yeah. How, how do you deal with this guy being your neighbor? I mean, we had Thanksgiving and it was really good. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Where can they yeah. find you, though, dude? Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijingu, but hey, Bosco. B Bosco, are you there, buddy? Bosco. Yeah, uh, uh, oh, there no, Arkov's there. Oh, God damn it. Hey, yeah, Arkov, Ar you <laughs> there? <laughs> yeah, Arkov's here. What's up? Hi, hey, it's me. Hey. At hey. Arkov on Twitter. Should we tell him about the thing? Yeah, you should tell them what you and that awful human being, Edward Bosco, is doing later all right so come tuesday i've danced around a little bit to this idea of a podcast called we are boomers <laughs> where we were where we where we where we talk about the past as well as how's the past shape the future of all of otakudom that gets dropped this tuesday i am not sure what time i'm working on it uh because i've got another stream going on tuesday as well but i will be joined by our very own edward bosco uh, or, I mean, shut sorry. up yeah, shut up and enjoy it but yeah no uh it's probably gonna be i uh, actually boss i have to talk to you about when you're gonna be available but it's probably gonna be like mid to slightly late day um i'm really looking forward to it uh there's i mean everyone everyone knows about trash taste everyone knows about all of these like quote-unquote modern anime podcasts this is one that's kind of tenshi muyo let me just put it that way I'm just really uh, curious because Bosco doesn't know anything about anime. What is he going to be contributing it, to? Honestly, I have no idea what he's going to talk about. This is It's going to be a, a dumpster <laughs> fire, and you should all tune in to watch you him burn. Got, you, got, you, got, you guys joke, but I've hung out with Bosco in person. He will never shut the fuck up about the Fate series. It, well, here's the problem. He's <laughs> both loud, obnoxious, <laughs> and uninteresting. He's the worst combinations of everything you would want uh, in a human being. Anyway. Okay, that's one slash th fix, Bosco. I just don't. That's, that's one thing going on. Another thing going on. Uh, I've got a brand new video talking about uh smite's new character danzaburo i tanuki are everywhere if you've seen me on social media i'm just like hey they're now in monster hunter rise hey now they're in smite hey now they're a transformer i kid you not so it's a little crazy um uh, please go check that out i had a heck of a lot of fun putting that together 
Kaijin uh, looks down at himself and he, his hands are paws. Oh, fuck! Uh, no, I, I am mean, the Tanuki. I have already had people telling me that it's my fursona. And you know what? I'm fine with it. I don't Welcome care. Welcome to quarantine. You now get your you get your your fursona from the furries. That's just yeah. part of it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's part. It's 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 part. It's part of their care package. It's been they've been really doing good. <laughs> but uh, remember, no. kids, if a furry asks you what your favorite animal is, that's a bear trap, and that's for your leg. It's only a bear <laughs> trap if you answer with bear. <laughs> So anyway, um, that's what I'm doing there. I'm working on uh, another video for my second channel. That's going. I've just got a lot going on. Just go look for me at Gaijin Goomba everywhere. I am very busy with many new things happening, and I'm really excited for it. Mark Allen Jr. Oh, yeah. What's that? Where can people chase you when you're not chasing tornadoes? Well, I'm 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 landlocked for the foreseeable future as tornado season is officially over. But you can find me on Twitter at Mark Allen Jr. here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, uh, and you can follow the uh, very low key escapades of my cat, who almost always is asleep in every picture I post of her on Instagram at Chonk for Life. Uh, if you guys are at all interested, this uh, coming December twelfth and thirteenth. Uh, there is a virtual convention going on called Blurred City Convention. Uh, I will be appearing on a panel on the 13th at 4.30 p.m. Central Time, along with Bill Butts, Danny Chambers, and Gabe Kunda to talk about what it's like to be a black voice actor in anime. Um, I'm really, really excited about this panel. Uh, I'm, I'm, all of these people are like amazingly, wonderfully talented human beings, and I'm really excited to be able to just talk with them and talk with you and just share that experience with everybody. So check it out, Blurred City Con. You can find them on Twitter or just go to blurredcitycon.com. Awesome. Hey, I'm going to let you go last, Connor, for the promotion side. Okay. Hi there. Uh, I shouldn't say last. <clears throat> I'm going to have, please go last and do the promotional stuff. Please, Connor. So yeah, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101. We got our wrestling pay-per-view this Sunday. The apocalypse is then. Not now. Not yet. We'll make oh. that pun that day. Uh, aside from that, I have been uh, keeping to myself a lot. Uh, check me out on Twitter at uh, twitch.tv slash... Oh my god. Just Takahata101. Just everywhere, you know? I've been working on my VTuber model and a bunch of other fun stuff for the VTuber debut on New Year's Eve. And I'll say this, this weekend there'll be a short video thrown up on Twitter, which will be announcing the name of the bar. So, it'll be fun. And Connor, take us home yeah. before bits and subs. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, you can find me on uh, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Double, uh, where I upload all of my VODs from my Twitch streams, uh, playing some Yakuza Kiwami 2, playing some... <clears throat> Uh, playing some Warhammer 40k Kill Team. Uh, this uh, just yesterday, I uh, played with my good buddy Luke. It was his Death Guard against my Drukari, and I somehow managed to squeak out a victory uh, via attrition, pretty much. That's how you have to win and, against Astartes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Especially... that when I was working, and I was crying like the the member. What's what's his name from Les Misérables? And it's just like looking in, like mm, that's how I felt. <laughs> <laughs> Come join us next time. I was working. <laughs> I know, I know. I know, Monty. I know. I know you know. Anyway. <laughs> um, other than that, though, um, <coughs> playing some Jackbox Party Pack or Among Us, uh, whichever suits my fancy um, as well. Uh, you know, Dead House Sonata. That's a thing. Uh, I plug it sometimes. Um, uh, you can check out uh, Dead House Sonata at that link, you know, if you if you want uh, if you want a game where you plays a vampire, uh, it's gonna be pretty fun. Uh, I highly recommend checking out uh, the information on it. Check out the forum. Check out the Discord. Uh, DeadHouseSonata dot com. Uh, you can look up lore and a bunch of other stuff about it as well. It is a pretty uh, in depth game, and it's not even out yet. <laughs> so. That's one thing. Another thing is uh, the Wizard School of Finance uh, that I put out on the DMs Guild, uh, where you can use your money uh, to literally buy magic from other spellcasters uh, as they're casting it. You can become a master appraiser, uh, buffs your identify spell to basically supercharge it and be able to read more into what magical items are worth and what they do. Uh, and you'll become so rich 
that you'll begin to affect reality with your money wizard powers. Uh, that's up on the DMs Guild right here at this link. And also be sure to uh, keep a lookout for the Paladin Oath of Joy. Uh, that's going to be coming out really soon here, probably uh, within before the week is out, as a matter of fact. So be on the lookout yeah. for that. And uh, that's all I got for me. Uh, before we get into reading bits and subs, I would like to thank our sponsor for this episode, Woo! Die Hard Dice. Yeah. 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 Coming back once again to, to bring us some holiday savings and fantastic tabletop gaming accessories, including but not limited to dice trays, carrying cases, polymer, and metal dice as well as Magic the Gathering specific dice. Uh, they've just come out with a whole bunch of new stuff just for the holidays. They've got their multi-class dice, which are their metal dice, but you can mix and match different colors with mm. magnets, and they work really well from what I hear. Um, I got beautiful, uh, non-toxic polymer-made dice. Uh, absolutely fantastic uh, metal dice that are built to last. Uh, seriously, I've had... Uh, Monty gave me some Die Hard Dice like two years ago, and I, I still use them, and they look fantastic. They're and really nice. They are really nice. Um, and they're just come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Uh, we really believe in these products, and they really believe in us, and that's why if you go to dieharddice.com during this winter through the 20th of this month, uh, and you type in the coupon code EXPECTJOY, you'll get a whopping 15% off your order price uh, when you shop at dieharddice.com. That's a low price! Yeah! Woo! Woohoo! Expect the unexpected. Live free or die hard dice. <clears throat> a good day to die hard dice. It is a good day to die hard dice. This is a good day to die hard dice. Alrighty. A lot of people have thank you, so I'm gonna get through these as quickly as possible, guys. Ex Machinus, Miss Tweedum's Cup of Squid. Probate. Uh, in, thank you so much for the subs. Uh, Infinite Kitty gifting 20 subs to the community. Holy guacamole. That's, that's a lot of subs. <laughs> I saw that wall of that earlier. Whew. Oh, everybody give a big thanks to Infinite Kitty. What a kind gesture, Infinite Kitty. Hey. X Nickum, Talem, Froggy's Moms, uh, uh, Draco, Choji, Debonsk, Brodon, Rod, Lich Wannabe, Tears of Mozart, Spirit of Love, Topher Spark, Hierogatix, and thank you all for the subs. My goodness, guys. Evian Fan, thank you for the bits. Darius, thank you for the bits. Tentacle Unicycle, Art and Salt, Jolly Swagman, thank you for the bits. I want to thank Roman Penguin for the 5,000 bits. <laughs> no message, just bits. Well, Roman Penguin, thank you so much for the 5,000 bits, dude. Pretty Venus with the 500 bits. Party, 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 party. Bits dropped. Thank you so much, Pretty Venus. Captain Actually. And Armored Owl, thank you for the subs, guys. So does J underscore J. Get to sub to Sages Blade. Thank you so much. Gwen Ninja, thank you so much for the sub. Lone War Floor, thank you for the bits. Muscle Wizard, thank you for the bits. Purple Fish Bones with the 500 bits. Uh, finally got caught up with it and catch the stream live for the first time in a while. Glad to be listening to you guys again as I work on commissions. Heart, 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 heart. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Shivering, Wolf, that, 90... <clears throat> Shivering Wolf 99. Cuban Dragon and Dragon Lion Heart. Blackfoot Ferret Pasta Parade. Thank you all so much for the subs and Blackfoot Ferret. Thank you again for the incredible kindness you always rain down. Thank you. I make things up with the 500 bits. Hello, everybody. You're all awesome. Well, so are you. I make things up. Thank you for the 500 bits. Savanders with the 500 bits. I just ate a mother of meat pizza, and I am an, I am an almost food coma, but still watch. I don't know. I don't think he posted that. I think that might be his family member. Tears of Mozart. <laughs> you might be asleep. Uh, Tears of Mozart. Giving a sub to Matthew Mercer. Clone <laughs> Alucard True V. Oh, God. God the jig is up. I'll come see kind of guy. Oz195. Thank you for the subs, guys. Uh, big Peace Pipe 97. Thank you for the, thank you for the bits. Uh, <laughs> Commander Roy with a 1,000 bits. Took me three months to catch up from episode one. Now to binge Prince Division. Oh, boy. Commander Roy. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. But three months? Jesus. It's a while. It's a lot. That's a lot of listening, actually. That's a lot. That's a period of time. That, guys, I'll say it. That's a lot of me. I don't know if that's well, that's a bit much. <laughs> Jesus. All right, uh, Gumsy kind of guy, Renfield eighty eight. Thank you so much, guys, for the subs. 
as well. I would also like to thank uh, Vigilantern for the 1,000 bits here as well. Be safe out there, guys. My roommate just got diagnosed with uh, COVID and started quarantine today. All right. Yeah, I, 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 everyone, Oof. take your... Everyone, your due diligence. Do your best you can, guys, given what the situation as it is. Quad Ranches with the 500 bits. I re-listened to the first two arcs, and I had so many feels on how the cast characters have evolved. Much love to the cast, the chat, and even you, Austin. Someone, even Austin. Someone, <clears throat> sorry, someone was saying that they went back and watched the old episodes. Apparently, I sound really young, and I'm like, yeah, probably. <laughs> Yeah, it's that's probably what due it's to like. Some... That's before you started chain smoking giant cigars, Nadine. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't. We're joking. Don't smoke, kids. Like don't a boss. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bad. Shy guy, DML, just another clone. Tarek is Dan, Jonet, Don. Thank you all for the subs. Frank, Linda, Randall. Thank you for getting a sub as well. Uh, I want to thank as well. Savanders, the fancy has returned cigars and whiskey for tonight. With the fancy who'll enjoy himself. Mm -hmm. uh, just another clone shy guide. Oh, I already thank those guys. I would also like to thank the Narga Kuga Tamer. By the way, shut up, my boss. I'm watching you at work. Okay, we won't. Don't get fired. Great. Yeah. Well, oh, I'm lucky for you. I started off Cyberpunk as a corpo. I'm going to pack in and tell him right now. Oh, they're going to shiv us in the back, Cito. You know that's what's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know what any of those things are. I've avoided all spoilers, you fucks. <laughs> I, I saw the first trailer and went, I'm so see you there. The only thing I heard since then was, guess what? Keanu's in it. And I'm like, all right, fine. I'm in. I'm in. You, you're, you stop drilling. You found oil. Don't worry, Kurt. That was not a spoiler. That's, I, I'm that's just baked I'm in giving game. you shit. I didn't think it I was. I mean, 10,000 bits, though, from Red Otaku Bomb. Corgi's giving hug me corgi 10,000 bit bomb from great otaku bomb with the great corgi bomb Ow. snaps for great otaku bomb thank you very much all right we're gonna, we're gonna blitz through these last couple here guys i apologize you, if have, we missed your message. you have time i haven't even written an introduction yet <laughs> see it's the smoke it's the giant cigars yeah. hola hola wabingo Zan Lita, thank you for the bits as well. Zam Rick with a 1,050 bits. Big thank you to Zam Rick as well. Uh, Peter Piper, the portable pen with a 500 bits. So guys, you're kind of surprised you don't use ball bearings. They worked wonders for one of Zito's bosses. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to put salt in the wound. <laughs> Pour salt in the wound. Just pour, just pour some Robitussin in the wound. You just, you, know? you just, just fucking just put, put like, on it. you just put like the Jersey Turnpike worth of salt into my fucking veins right now. <laughs> Fuck you. God, keep the ice out of the wounds. <laughs> the cold day in hell today. All right. Um. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nerdy oh. Notions with the 500 bits. The Jailer did nothing wrong. Yeah. Well, he has a weird voice actor. Uh. The, <laughs> the Iron Fist. <laughs> he's weird because he's from Chicago. Where is that? Is that near Autopia? No, that is in the middle of the country. It's where, oh. it's where, uh, it's where, uh, it's where he was contained. <laughs> where he was unleashed. Contained. <laughs> uh, uh, mm -hmm. He's loving this. He loves this shit. I don't know what you guys. He's a masochist for this. All right. Um, until the tears later. Thortron six thousand. With a, let's say something, Bosco. Please. It's awkward now. <laughs> All right, well, you're anyone have a boss a silence, impression? Kurt. I'll even accept that. Go bulls. You're feeding uh, into his silence. <laughs> Thortron 6000 with 1,000 bits. Thank you so much, Thortron. The 1,000 bits. Blackfoot Ferret with the elite bits. Welcome back to the airplane. And a little, and a little gif of an airplane flying. We. That's what Blackfoot Ferret did. I get it, Blackfoot Ferret. I get it. It's cute. Thank you so much. The Urson Master. Thank you for the bits. Now my money, my people will have your trash and all the pumpkins. The bears will not be oppressed. They keep coming back. Well, they're gone yeah. now because it's winter. But they, Mom and they... Dad warned me about yeah. the bear trap. What? <laughs> Mom and what? I went up. I went to visit them the other day. Mm hmm. And they're like, all right, when you leave, don't go to the left. That's where the bear trap is. And I'm they're like, joking. what? They're joking. <laughs> no, I don't. Ma, they, I did not hear a hint of irony from mom and dad. And you know they're bad at telling a joke. Well, they may have been real, but what they meant was that that is where the bears have been lying, waiting for someone to ambush I for like the last two weeks. Bear, bear trap, for those of you who are asking, a bear trap is not like the thing you step on and it bites you. The bear trap is also like a large, like kind of cylindrical box that they actually trap bears in to relocate them out of civilization. Don't they just get their head stuck in there and it's funny? No, no, they just they go inside and they just get trapped in there. Get in the prep for the gallows? No, no. No, it's, no, it's, it's like, okay, it's it's they, watch the scene, they watch the scene. They watch the scene. <laughs> they watch the scene. From Winnie the Pooh when he got stuck in Rabbit's Hole. 
All right, wait, wait. Okay, phrasing is very important when you're talking about that. <laughs> they have to apply the honey to the rear end. You're making it worse, Kurt. Stop it, stop it, stop it, please. Oz195 with the 10 subs gifted to this chat. Oz195, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Guys, big thank you to Oz. Citric King, thank you for the sub. Great to see you, man. Toto 209 flex with me, Borky. Okay. <laughs> Busted the bicep. I was going to say. <laughs> Evelyn No Wiki with the 600 bits. Hey, guys, I'm glad to catch you live tonight. My family recently got pet rabbits and one of them got really sick. Oh, fuck. Damn, I went to that with the wrong energy. Passed away a few nights ago. Very sorry to hear that. Looking forward to the distraction. Apologies for my insensitivity there. I did not um, did not realize what was going on there. Yeah, sorry. I yeah, sorry to hear that. Yeah, sorry rodents, to hear that. unfortunately, which is what rabbits are, they're kind of a weird off-breed of rodent. They are very sensitive, and you don't feel too bad because sometimes it's just their genetics, too. Like, you can't do anything about it. Like my frog. My frog's life expectancy is three to fifteen years. And I'm like, why is it that Whoa, broad? It's such a big... Yeah. Did you buy a parrot in the shape of a there. frog? <laughs> well, apparently genetic wise, it's like not even how you take care of them. Apparently genetics wise, like you could get a really good genetic frog or a really bad genetic frog and it's genetically your frog's human. just going to live forever. You know, accor <laughs> according to evolution though, the genetically good frog is the one with the shorter lifespan. Why mm -hmm. does Ross the largest and therefore strongest of the friends not simply eat the others? I mean, you joke, but they, you, you can't have two Pac-Man frogs in the same tank for that exact reason, because they will eat each other. I'd like to thank Zacco Duo for the sub, as well as Commander Solace, Banhat, Iron Deficient Bob, Twisted Helix M, Saiyan Fox 10. Thank you guys so much. Oz195, thank you for the 10 subs. Again, and Savanders with the 500 bits. I love Bosco in this more than in TPT. Don't worry, I prefer you as a fan in this chat more than that one. Oh, oh. 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 wow. Oh. oh, Bosco, you see, he's really nice in private, but mean in public. It's rather odd. Don't don't mind me just holding my back into this corner right now, looking left <laughs> and right, very afraid. Keep They're reading, coming for you. you have, you have, oh, uh, I am done. all caught up. Perfect timing. I just period marked the last part of oh, the Oh, and that friendly hobgoblin said, bit smart for my fia fia uh, fuck. Fail. P A C O E. Uh -huh. That might be a misspell. Okay. And yeah, great daddy. Otaku Bomb with one last bit drop for us before we head off with Bruno Talk Bomb with 4,500 blitz. Allow what? me to bless your rolls with Corgis. Ooh, a Corgi rolls. Let's Park go. Gaming, Pog Bits, Pog Bits, Pog Bits. Who are we? Brian Danger. I mean, Brian are we? Danger. Monty, that wasn't Poggers. That was my, that's what? one of my best friends. Yeah, that's, he loves that was Monka anyway. S. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was not Poggers, dude. That was not Poggers. <laughs> that, hey, I, I'm going gonna, gonna to be honest that with you, Greco. That was not Pog Champ. That was, Gre was not Pog Champ of you. Yeah. That was not Pog Champ of you. Look, I'm just eating my seed, Borky. Leave me alone. No, he's not. All right. Aggressive bird noises. Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, when last we left our heroes, Task, the Cobalt Ranger, Greckles, the Kenku Rogue, Borky, the Orc Barbarian, Remy, the Kenku Fighter, Panic, the Tiefling Bard, and a new found friend in Seika, the Fire Ganassi Monk, the party has made their way deep into the elemental plane of air. After riding on Rockback, fighting off air Myrmidons, while on said rockback, the party now makes their way to Tempest Town, home to the Air Ganassi and home to the Tempest Temple. But as they land on Glasstop Mountain, they come to learn a stunning revelation. The noble Prince Waft, who they were supposed to meet, has been arrested due to murdering his own council head. Now, as the party dismounts the rock, we return now to the Unexpectables. So, uh, Seika. You are the mm -hmm. only one who hears this information as you listen right. and to this this one Air Ganassi individual. Uh, Sorry, it, is it possible that he is lying? Roll an insight check. First roll of the game. Hey. 24. Okay. I'm just going to give you guys some town ambience. 24. Let me roll here. 
Uh, this man is not lying at all. He has no reason to lie to you at all. He actually seems kind of like intrigued by you asking uh, because you rolled so high. Like he's just like, oh, you, you must be someone you know serious or important to ask such a question. Mm -hmm. But to not know says something else about you. Um, so he seems he seems to be absolutely 100% with no doubt in your mind. He is, he's not lying to you. Um, and he seems surprised that you do not know. Um, very quickly falling back into the habit of just completely non-informative uh, facial expression, um, uh, Seika is going to look at him and, and uh, say, This must be a new development. When did this transpire? Oh. He kind of scratches the back of his neck, maybe three, four days ago. I see. Well, this may prove problematic. If you would allow me a moment, I need to speak with those I have traveled with. Certainly. You have permission to uh, take the zip line down to the town if you wish. I'm sorry, I have no other help than that. Thank you very much. And he he kind of rolls up the silk scroll and puts it in his side. And he watches he just takes a hand to the to the zip line and just like flings over what looks like to be a piece of very thick rope and just zips down like just slides down without any hesitation at all i wish i could be that cool um i, 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 will... I wish i could make a south park joke that only i would probably get no i get it <laughs> shaka bra shaka bra <laughs> um i will i will Throw head back up to the rock and like uh, address everyone we may have a very large problem is it whales or what someone didn't die did they she's <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> yes <laughs> nice guy <Titan>. nice <laughs> e everything the npcs the world god just turns and looks at greckles <laughs> He yeah, said that around. in jest, so you know. <laughs> and and Seika answered just straightly, like, yeah. Oh, oh. It Wait. seems Grand Tempest Waft is under arrest for murder. Uh Oh fantastic. Who did he murder? Uh frantically checks notes. Uh I just have a note that says the council. Was that the entire council? Or the head one of person? his council. Yeah. The head of the That's council. The head okay. of the council. Yeah. Damn, he works fast. <laughs> I know. It's like the whole council. Damn. No, the, the, just the head of it. Basically, his. Um, you you would know like um, that Kai would have some. You, you have a person who's your council, right? You 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 know you bounce ideas off. Gotcha, of gotcha, gotcha. Part. They're they're like the second in command. The, like, the right hand man. Like, basically, yeah. That's a that's a big deal. Like. Right. It seems he has murdered his own council. The Dark Master said this took place th approximately three to four days ago. I guess that lines up then why we were attacked. Something's really fishy here. What was that name you said you heard? It's a bit odd because we're in the air. From the Myrmidons? Yes. That was Kokyu. Kokyu. Yeah, you got it. I mean, it. you told us, right? I, I did, but yeah. I was about to say, I have it in my notes, so... Yeah, no, I, I had to turn a page. Is the problem. Oh. <laughs> Denka, I believe we may actually need to leverage your position here. I can see where you're coming from with that. I just... If there's corruption, if there's a worm in the council... Me arriving could do nothing more than just stir up more trouble. Oh, there's no doubt that there's corruption. That's what I mean. I'm wondering if maybe we could possibly get more... God, that's the problem. We stick out horribly here. Yes, I believe sneaking around is probably out of the question. Well, no, no, no. No, no, if anything, that'll draw more suspicion. No, no, not sneaking around. Not, not, a, not a good eening, but a good yoning. A hide in plain sight. Just, um, if it was what three or four said. days... Let me just pull up... Hold on, let me pull up my feet and write that down for you. <laughs> Hang on, I need to go to uh, oh. YouTube.com and look up what that means. Oh, shut up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> let me have it in my art, goddammit. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> okay, above game, though, like, for real, that... The, the... 
if it's been if it's only been three to four days, I'm curious at how much people would be talking about it. If anything, we should be able to find some kind of written information about it too. I have a fear though that if the attacker is the new Grand Tempest, we may not be as welcome for very long as we would have been otherwise. Guys, what do you think? Is there mm. no way we can get counsel with this man? Like, can we not go to a to a dungeon, so to speak, and have word what, with him? Well, what, like, what jail was he sent to? I did not get that information, but uh, if we well, were to try well, and find it, we'd have to leverage Denka's position. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think Kuriyama-san has a point. Hmm? Do you have... Kuriyama-san, do you have a seal, some sort of item of authority to prove who we are who you say we are um i imagine my my clothing and perhaps your the clothing image on my tonto would be enough your entirety is it's a statement within itself um but you are not master kai you are right. one of his you know students or underlings for the most part um, would it be enough to lend credence to anything that i would say you don't know because you've never had to use it before in your lifetime okay Mm -hmm. So, above game, I'll chime in, Mark. I think if you say that you're here on behalf of him as one of his closest representatives, that's about the most leverage you can have, and it might get you into the prison, but... Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. Wait! Character. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What if we take half that plan? Kuribasan, what if you were to go as a representative of my father? I would just be some kind of bodyguard or traveler a hire of sorts. That way we could get in and we don't have to tip everyone off. So leaving your relation to Master Kai is a last resort sort of thing? Exactly. Because it's mm. already apparent, it's already apparent that, that Kuriyami-san here is, is acting on behalf of my father. So maybe we don't need to go all in just yet. Say, Cub. Yes. Just, just so I'm getting this right in my head, this image. Uh, Master Kai is a Kenku, correct? Well. Blinks yes and loudly. No. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this answer hard? <laughs> Elaborate. I'm, I'm scared to say anything right now. <laughs> Wait, well, wait, wait, wait. Kurama-san, did he look like this? And I'm actually going to, to with uh, Minor Illusion, produce an image of the Kenku that I kept seeing in my dreams. <clears throat> um, okay. Um, Seika, you see a very much more shrouded, almost... Because dreams are never clear, ever. Mm. They're nonsense, and I fucking hate them. Um... <laughs> Well, oh, right sorry. Then. There sorry. We go. <laughs> um, you managed to muster up um, a, a sort of like, oh god, how do I even describe this? It, it, Seika, it kind of looks like Master Kai, but he's a bit shorter, wearing the wrong clothes and looks way too young. Um, something about it just doesn't, it, it, like you're like sure maybe but you're like i know that's not him like you just look at him, you're like that's not him but you're like it kind of looks like him it's it's like it's like if someone saw something for like a split second and had to like draw it out and it's just like the best that they could possibly like get so like the main features are kind of it's kind of eh. especially the attire the clothes are completely wrong you've never seen master kai wear those clothes do they mm. look like material planes clothes yeah like they, they do mm. okay it's is not a good likeness, but if it is him, it would have been before I ever met him. This would potentially be... How old am I? 20? 25? It would be... It would at least That's be 20... Good question, Mega May. There's a, there's a good <laughs> question. That's a good Mega question. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> this could possibly be maybe 20 years prior. How long have you known my father? Like, all my life, right? Yeah, all your life. Yeah, yeah how old are you? <laughs> there comes that question. 30 oh, no. Something. <laughs> we are baby. Um, yeah, I'm like, I'm 38. So. Well, uh, all my life. It was worth a shot. 
in regards to our plan, I am not certain how much authority my position actually grants me here. I've never had to make this journey on my own. Well, you and all of us, too. Uh, well... Kurumasan, I can't help but be a little weary if we were to go in and suddenly announce that the offspring of Grandmaster Kai is here and has a lot of questions, especially if we were attacked by creatures that we're supposed to protect. There's something very much amiss here, and I don't want to play my hand this early. The reason kind of trails down off the rock and goes, if you were to speak those words to any Air Ganassi, they will not be as patient as we are. Enemies of the Myrmidons are enemies of us, but if you think there's corruption here, well, he goes and he strokes Gale, and the, the rock kind of like puffs up, like the feathers. Like you watch as the volume of the rock just increases as it puffs out its feathers and stuff, oh. and it's very comfy right now. Well, then why don't we just lie? Tess says bluntly. Remy is exactly. going to Remy is going to step forward when you say that, and he's going to look at Seika and Greckles. Speaking from somewhat of a position of first-hand knowledge, there is more than one way to topple a kingdom. One can be from the outside in, and the other is inside out. If we believe that there is corruption here, be it working for the enemy, we are all trying to fight, or a completely different faction, you can still tell the truth without tipping your hand. Seika, you can at least attempt to leverage your position. Stick out your chest, let them know who you work for, and be respectful about it. Because if you carry yourself like you're supposed to be somewhere, most people will think that you belong there. And if all else fla fails, flattery will get you everywhere. Greckles puts puts a, a hand on Seika's shoulder. You are the representative of my father, of Grandmaster Kai. Don't forget that. I have not forgotten my position. I simply am uncertain of its weight here in this plane. We but won't know unless we try best. it. I suppose then I should lead the way. Greckles well, moments. we'll get you zipped down. You do have cords, right? Uh. I For get... the zip line? For the dock? Of course you have. Come on. No? R remember, you found us floating out in, you know, emptiness. <sighs> That's right. Um. Kind of oh boy, are we getting our gliders? <laughs> oh boy. Let's, I think I have some spare ones in Gale. One second. And you watch as she climbs back into the tent. Oh man, this is going to shock my bios infinitely. Oh fuck. Uh, <laughs> Breeze um, kind of steps forward to you, Greckles, and goes, hey. Yeah. Can we trade? <coughs> um. Trade? He pulls out one of his daggers, which is almost like it looks like it's made out of quartz. Oh. It's made out of cloudstone. Cloudstone? What kind of properties does it have? It's light and solid. Strongest material we have here on the, the elemental plane of air. What would you want? I want one of your daggers, made from the earth. <sighs> oh. Is your dagger magical? No. He kind of shakes his He looks perplexed, like, what? No. Mm. All right. I don't have any daggers I could actually give up. <laughs> Task holds up a stone dagger. Uh, he watches Breezen's eyes kind of wide and goes, and he <gasps> offers you the cloud stone dagger. All right. Fair trade. I, I give him the dagger. Thank you. Oh, it's so heavy. He watches he bounces it in his hand. <laughs> Notably, the dagger in your hand is very light. Imagine, if you will, um, like, imagine if you had a dagger that had the the sort of, like, um, the weight of, like, a sponge, like a dry sponge. It's very Holy strange. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's solid, and it's sharp, for sure. That's But so it's dangerous. very, very light. Yeah. Ooh, that is interesting. Mm. So you can add Cloudstone Dagger to your inventory. Hell yeah. Do I want to pass that to Greckles, though? I mean, I can, I can, I can make it worth it. Um, the thing is, I, I've got a whole bunch of darts, but I don't think he's going to be interested in those. 
because the only dagger that I could have gotten rid of, I already gotten rid of. It's up. It's it's your call, dude. Um, I can I can give you gold or some other resources to to even it out. Well, we we can table this for later. Sure. I was just worried if you want to use it like right this I, second as a I weapon. Would, I would love to. I just didn't have any. I just didn't have any weapons that I could trade. Then out. just fucking take it. <laughs> okay, that works. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Task. You had your chance to get rid of Todd, and you missed it. But Todd comes back. That's why it's the best hustle. You, Monty, you said it was Cloudstone? Cloudstone, yeah. That's what it's yeah. called. Yep. Cloudstone. I love the desperation in that. Todd comes back. But he always comes back. It just works. <laughs> it just works. It just works. Well, Task, I, pre I appreciate it, Task. This is, a, this is a pretty big memento. Our time in the elemental plane of air. I'm sure there are going to be a lot of people back home. They're at least going to want to have a look at it, too. Found them! You watch they as had... Reason kind of, er, sorry, Era kind of trails off the rock, and she hands each of you guys, like, this probably foot-long length of very taut silken rope. Oh, wow. There you go. This is really nice. You use it. Here, I'll show you. She walks over to the tether, which the dock master just, like, went down on, like, a zip line. You just flip it over on here, hold both ends, and then you, you know, tuck up your eggs and you just let your weight take you down. Just uh, don't look down. Huh. And oh, af after what we went through, don't worry, I won't. And how would we return if we needed to? Oh, you just use your levitate. Um, oh. Yeah. Well, um, you're super important, so you'll probably be able to find a way through. Someone important, I'm sure. Excellent. We're gonna get stuck. Yeah, we're screwed. <laughs> yeah, wow, we're screwed. We have to make a hasty <laughs> retreat. We're fucked. Excellent. <laughs> we'll find a way. I mean, as long uh, as we're in a fucking city where, you know, we can do shit like that, I'm sure we'll be fine. Well, at least two of us can get out. How far how far down of a uh, of a distance drop is it? Oh, intimidatingly long, okay. but um, I mean, probably if you if you had to slide down, at least maybe maybe a minute at most. A wow. minute of of sliding, sliding down, yeah. Like these these giant glass things are way out of the city limits. Hmm. Like these are not part of the city. These are these are a decent way out. Do uh. I'm kind of kind of weirded out how friction would apply to this with these the, silken ropes. There is no friction. This isn't the material plane. If you mm. get them wet, they're indestructible. <laughs> like the, the one thing. <laughs> the dock master didn't seem to have any issues, so. <clears throat> All right, well, um, fuck it. No time like the present. Shock, yeah. bro. I was okay. gonna say. So, task, you walk over and you need some help up because it's it's Ganassi height. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> give me a fucking step stool, please. <laughs> uh, Greckles gives him a boost because he's right behind him. All right, you flip over the silken rope over the this other silken rope, and the, it, it kind of has, like, a slipperiness to it. Somehow, like, they're not lubricated at all, but just the interaction between the two silken ropes seems to be almost like the opposite of Velcro. Um, and the moment, like, it hits, it's almost like, you know, like, wheelie pulleys that, like, have, like, that, that sort of wheelie um, nature yeah, to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly like that. Like the moment, like you flip it around and like you're holding on to it, and Greco's holding on, your entire front half like slips forward with the rope. Um, <laughs> and Greco's, you let him go. Oh yeah, I want to watch this. All we right. Yeah. <laughs> it starts slow, and then as you kind of reach past the cliff face of this glass mountain, it's just like a full-on plummet. And you're like holding on for dear life. The muscles in like your your joints and your forearms burn as you begin to full speed fly down. Eventually, like you're almost like parachute style flight, like floating down. The your body kind of like breaking the wind and causing you to lift up, kind of alleviating some of the stress on your limbs as you just drive all the way forward. And eventually, you see a box, which is where you, you're supposed to end on the main sort of um, stone pavilion. Um, go ahead and roll for me a dexterity saving throw oh, no. as you make your way inwards. Sick. This is like fucking gliders. Hell yeah. 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 All right, here we go. That's 11. an 11. All right, as you hit the stone, you like, you, you're going so fast and you weren't prepared for it that you kind of like curl inwards. You crash on your side. It's not like terrible. It's not a disaster. 
and like you stand up and you just see like a group of people looking at you like just a bunch of dock masters just kind of look down and stare at you as you're just kind of lying on your side on the ground as you kind of collect yourself who wants to okay i'm so next okay greckles let's f and go (laughs) You have to hop a bit, but you hop and you reach, you you bring the silk around and immediately you set down. Um, you have to readjust your grip at first, and then again, same sort of thing. Once you reach that dip, you start sliding down at mock speed, heading straight Ooh. down. You look to the side and you see other Ganassi like sliding down from other glass mountains, traders, mm-hmm. and you see like pulleys with fish coming down. Um, go ahead for me and make a dexterity saving throw as you reach near the end. You see Task currently Wee. lying on his side. Oh, wow, oh, that's boy. 12. <laughs> you are like, sweet, fell. I will use... You You keep going back and forth. Like, okay, I got to do a flip to stop. Oh, God, how do I... How do, when do I let go? When do I let go? And you just kind of hit the ground, and you just fall forward. <gasps> and you manage to stay on your feet. You don't fall on your side as you let go of the silken rope and kind of do a little twirl. Like, you know when you... when You, you know when you almost stumble and fall, and you kind of, like, bounce on your foot a few times? Oh, yeah, you, you, like, you, you stick... You, yeah. you don't quite stick the dismount, but you're still standing up. You're still standing. That's you, yeah. You kind of <laughs> land. And again, more heads begin to turn. Who wants to go next? Uh, I would like Geronimo! to go next. Geronimo! Borky chest! <laughs> oh, Borky! Oh, right. Please Save don't that. break you... the zip line. I'm getting Save off the can... platform. <laughs> Save <Save him. laughs> All right, Borky, you grab and there is a considerable dip in the rope it does appear Mm -hmm. that it can carry a decent amount of bulk weight given that there's you know fish being tethered onto it and you know pulling down uh borky you grab on and like you really have to like like you're just dangling and you're spinning too like you're like doing the thing thing. yeah you're doing the spinning thing where you're spinning side to side which is adding to the stress on your legs go ahead and roll uh your arms sorry go ahead and roll a dexterity saving throw for me oh could, Jeez, could bro, I, put your hands in the air. <laughs> could could I could I assist in this if I was to stay on the box and like try to catch people as they come down? Let's see what happens to you. Want to catch oh, Borky? Hey. Yeah, that's probably not nice. a good idea. <laughs> catch me, <Yeah>. Greckles! <laughs> you do, Greckles. As Borky comes flying in, you manage to like stop him because he doesn't let go, and you like you just like put your hands up and you stop his pecs. And Borky, your feet hit the ground and you just let go, and you're fine. Ah. Oh, I was going to say, how many frames of impact do we have here? Like three? <laughs> it's like, imagine if a child was on like a little zip line and the adult like presses their chest to kind of slow them down before they hit the wall. That's kind of what Greckles just did, except for the okay. child is way I was kind of hoping it would be a single frame smear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good stuff. All right, I'm done. All, All right, right actually, Greckles. All right, Greckles, appreciate you trying to hold, but I'm pretty sure my arm was meant for catching. <laughs> I mean, you just, you know, just trying to be helpful, big guy. I big know, no, don't you worry. Thing. You just worry about the porky gestures to everything. Okay, yeah, what's, want- what's <laughs> everyone's fucking, like, faces now? There's a giant green thing. There, people are, like, turning heads. Like, they're, everyone's looking at you um, in this in this dock. Even the people who are unloading the fish are kind of stopping. And you watch as one of the, what well, you appear to be a fisherman, kind of smacks his like, air ganassi buddy, and they both kind of turn and look and stare. The moment they catch their eyes, they kind of quickly turn away. Um, who wants to go next? Um, Seika is about to go, and then he stops and turns back uh, to look at Remy and uh, Panic. Um, well, I suppose if I'm taking the lead in this, it would make better sense for me to arrive last. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. I'll I'll, <laughs> hey. I'll yield all of this weird noble bullshit to you and i'll go <laughs> all right Pan it. uh you're similar to greckles um but it's it's you're not you're not fit, fit no offense let's like let's just be real i've here. got the six pack uh no, you're not so you <laughs> in your hole it's no it's totally, totally. <laughs> that's intermittent fasting that's what that it's is it's for aesthetic not for use yeah. uh <laughs> <laughs> You're working your she, glamour muscles. She's right. She's right. No, she's got me pinned down. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just guitar muscles is all it is. <laughs> I need those to play my guitar. <laughs> all right, oh my Same thing with you. You you have the uh, strain on the arms, which really hurts you. Um, also, you're having the problem where, like, your clothing, like, your sleeves, because they're wide sleeves, kind of fall into your face because they're so wide and your arms are up in the air. Uh, which kind of blocks your view, and you're also twisting and spinning as you go down. Go ahead and roll a dexterity saving throw for me. I'm flapping. I'll catch you, Panic. 
Oh Come god, on. I'm flapping. Uh, 12? Okay, again, stuttered step, land, you kind of collide into Borky a little bit, but you can make there. it on the ground. <laughs> I push off him and I play it off like nothing happened. I know she just <laughs> threw up a shaka bra. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is this, is a this new the thing name of the I episode? Missed? The shaka bra? Yeah. No, once no, <laughs> we're done with this, this we're done shaka bra okay. This is just a new thing I missed, I guess, just because I don't watch bad television or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not Boom. wrong. It is bad. You're not wrong, really. Boom. <laughs> Got him. All right, Remy, Saika, you are still up at the top. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, he's he's kind of just standing there waiting for you to go. Uh, Remy's going to look down at uh, Greckles as Panic is sliding down the ramp and then look back towards you, Seiko, and just do another quick look and then say... If there is anything I can do to assist in your negotiations, I realize I am not from this world, but I am happy to help. It is much appreciated. All right, then. Enough of this child's play. Remy's going to hit the slope, um, okay. but as he gets towards the bottom to avoid any kind of deck saver looking embarrassingly at himself falling, he's going to call out... Where is it? I have this one written down because I haven't used it a lot. Um, he calls out Pluma Renewum and casts Featherfall. Okay. And we'll land on I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my reverse Uno card right now. Just to <laughs> no, you. <ruin> your dreams. <laughs> um, so what? you guys watch Remy begins to come down at a mock pace speed. Remy, you out of everybody probably have the most experience dealing with sort of heights. Mm -hmm. uh, even even beyond task. No offense, task you had a month. Remy's had his life. Um, as you reach, you're like, okay, now's the time to use Featherfall. Um, I want everyone to imagine, as you watch Remy coming down at mock speed, all of a sudden, it's like, hey, slowly, like, in slow motion, <laughs> Remy slowly <laughs> makes his way. It's stuck. like he's walking down an invisible staircase. <laughs> yeah. like, really making a meal of the moment. And any head that was looking at the group so far is now looking at Remy as he's slowly, like, like da 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 da. If that's the song that's playing, Remy's gonna get off the thing and go, "Woo!" <laughs> you do. You get off, and you're you're totally good. Can't believe Bosco did the trick I was gonna do. That was a dirty play, Remy. Uh, yeah, I, uh, Seiko will go next, and uh, I, I was going to utilize uh, um, the slow fall at the last moment to slow down so I can just kind of dismount gracefully. Okay. You, Seika, you turn to Breezen and Era, and Breezen kind of turns to you and goes, we'll be here for about a week if you can make your way back up here. I hope we have the opportunity to meet again. Kind of Us bows. Too. Good luck on your quest. He kind of grips his fist. Era Thank kind you. of bows. I hope Sega the puts on his elder... soap shoes and fall and grinds his way down. <laughs> I hope the elder Tesmus has forgiveness for you. And I hope nothing we have done while in your company has convinced you we are enemies to your people. Brazen kind of turns his and turns at you. It's not the first time we've helped a stranger, but he kind of puts a finger to his lips. Good luck. Sega just nods and uh, departs. All right, you flip over the silk and you jump up and probably the graceful, most graceful out of everybody, given, you know, your experience with this sort of thing. Uh, you begin to slide down, and as you guys are on the ground level, you see now Aseka is just barely, there's a fireball heading towards you, like there's, like, smoke <laughs> behind your head, or the, the air is hitting. Um, as you kind of reach a certain way, you actually let go before there's ground beneath your feet, and you just hit the ground and slow forward and the spin up and, and uh, adjust your, 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 you know, fancy coat. And you're, you're totally fine. Whew. That was um, slick. Seika is going to do uh, something that uh, I'm going to just assume he has seen Master uh, Kai do. Uh, and he's going to fold his hands behind him and stand up straight and kind of just survey the area. You begin to hear murmuring amongst the crowd um, as you guys are kind of standing. Um, anybody who would like to can roll a perception check, I would say. Oh, boy. Pick two amongst you to, to do the perception uh, check. I got plus it. five. I have plus six. Yeah, it's not me. 
So Breckles and Tats makes the most sense. You guys I, have been on the uh, ground the longest. So I'm gonna yeah. say Breckles okay. and Tats. You guys roll perception. Yahoo. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty two. Oh, you guys are fine. Um, you get to hear the dock masters and the fishermen. Which, by the way, the fish you see, um, you know, flying fish, like the actual flying fish. Oh yeah. Know? Yes. Um, imagine if every fish. single fish you see has those fins, either. Oh, of cool. Oh, the weird webbing or, fins. Or, yeah. Yeah, like the really actual long ones. Fins. I showed I could um, fly. Mm-hmm. Um, you hear a bunch of people saying, "Is that one from the the the? Oh God, I forgot the name of your order. Holy crap! <laughs> the, Seika's the, order is the acolytes of the acolytes, acolytes phoenix. of the phoenix. I forgot the word phoenix. My brain, please. Oh, no. Monty, Ooh. objection. There you go. Ooh. That'll, that'll jog it. Yeah, everybody. Anyway, um, you begin to hear muttering. That's an acolyte of the phoenix. Why is he doing it? They're kind of just murmuring back and forth, like. Material walkers? We haven't seen this many in years. You don't think they're here to steal something else, do you? There's just kind of like all this general sort of mumbling to each other as you guys kind of stand there. People step back. They kind of give you their space, but there's so much staring. Like, you're used to Alabast. No one stares at Alabast. The only time you've seen people stare at you is when Digsby was amongst you because no one's ever seen a turtle before. But this is like everyone's getting just stared at completely. Like, you guys are freaks of nature. Uh, Greco's is going to lean into the group. Everyone just don't say anything. As far as they know, we're just hired assistants. Got it. Licks his eye. Act <laughs> natural. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Morty, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. And over uh, the mouth. Re- Remy right. is actually going to be standing to uh, the right shoulder of Seika behind them at a respectable distance, but will be walking with their chest out like they know what they're oh. doing. The current place you're on, strangely enough, is stone. It's not stone you're used to. It's like a kind of light bluish stone um, that seems to be carved in almost like cobblestone blocks. Um, they are pressed inlay sort of designs in each kind of stepping block. It's very intricate and art-esque. Uh, the buildings themselves are made out of what looks like um, formed glass, which is not see-through. It's glass houses, but they're not see-through, with roofs of sort of long cloth silk, which seems very thick in nature. The people are wearing garb, which is, you know, similar to Brizen and Arya, but maybe a bit more refined um, with some, you know, silk interlaid in within, um, as well as some armor bits that look like they're part of the Myrmidons, interestingly enough, same sort of style um, as you guys walk your way through. Um, there's, there's quite a few homes, um, but there appears to be more of a marketplace um, temples of worship, things like that, that seem to fill up this pavilion. It's very crowded, uh, shoulder to shoulder, um, not as open as Alabas, and not as large as Alabas, but it is, you know, considering the rest that you've seen is just sky. It, this definitely seems to be a hub, uh, sort of like sky island. Um, um, as you make your way through. As we walk, Greckles will have his his hat uh, up on the head and tilted down and just try to cover up as much of his face as he can. Okay. Um, as you guys are moving, of course, Oof. everybody is looking at you. Like, there are children playing, and the moment you guys walk by, the children stop playing and turn and look at you. Like, the moment you guys enter any new area, whatever is happening, like, there's music playing in one corner, there's a Ganassi playing with this kind of, like, stringed instrument. He just stops, and everyone who's watching him, like, looks confused and then turns and sees you, and there's just a stunned silence as you guys make your way through town. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. I don't, how think, they know, the... I don't think they notice us, Greckles. Um, uh. How is the area arranged? Like, is there a clear, like, center point? There is, he... yeah. There's is a that where, point. like, the temple would be? Uh, the temple itself is far away. Okay. Um, it is, like, the, the mo- topmost point of this island. Um, obviously, as you guys came down, you would have seen that there are no... Uh, zip lines attached to the temple itself. It appears to have like kind of one entrance, just in terms of ground access, um, um, which appears to be a large red bridge. Well, uh, Borky would like to like Borky can tell how awkward everything is. He's trying to like do tiny waves. Borky just starts feverishly like tapping Panic on his shoulder. Yes. Panic, Borky. Yeah, I hear you. Can I get a little ditty? Something that's really nice. Something that I makes don't... people go look, go like. Yay! <laughs> that's <actually laughs> a bad idea. <laughs> Uh, panic looks around slowly reaches behind his back he he has he, he has catharsis on him he didn't oh, yeah. he oh, didn't yeah. leave it anywhere um and i'll pull it out 
and I'll start to play play a, a gentle, friendly, happy tune for okay. everybody. Roll a performance check with disadvantage because with disadvantage, you, yeah, people don't you're know weird. who you are. You're very foreign. No offense. And 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 what are these weird noises you're making? Okay, is that considered <laughs> music? Here I go. Uh, as I'll do it as we pass the people who who were who are playing, and I'll, I'll try to pick up on that tune. With disadvantage, it's going to be uh, 15. Okay. That's a rolling a two, by the way, everyone. I know. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a two. <laughs> the, the children like it. Like, the children dance, but the adults are very weary of all of you. They don't seem like they're going to, like, gut you, but it seems like they're like, who are these people? Like, this is... I mean, Seika, you've seen how Seika is. This is, like, people who've, like... You know, you guys are people of legends, of stories. Like, this is like... This is like if a dragon just showed up in front of someone and was just like walking through town in like real life, like uh, same same sort of feeling right now. Um, is, as you guys make your way forward, as you turn around, you notice there's a crowd behind you of the people you've passed who are just kind of following you. As you make your way forward into the centermost square, I would like everybody to roll perception checks for me, except mm. for Seika, who's in the front. Behold, my church grows. Fifteen. Eighteen. 22. Okay. 12. 23. Okay. Panic and uh, Remy, you guys can't help but notice a uh, probably like 20-something-year-old female Ganassi um, kind of like looking at you at one as you guys pass an alleyway, and she kind of turns a corner and stares at you for a while and then ducks back into the alleyway and disappears. Are there any distinguishing features of this person? Uh, she has kind of like um, uh, shoulder length hair that's like chopped at a perfect straight angle. Um, very beautiful features, wearing somewhat of like a um, uh, metal tiara similar to the Myrmidons. Uh, but it seems to have been made custom to go around the sort of uh, diamond stone like protrusions that come out of get, come out of her head, kind of right in the middle. She's kind of almost got like a unicorn horn of crystal right in the Ooh. middle. Um, and notably, somewhat nicer dress. Um, as she makes her way out of your sight and disappears. Uh, very quietly as we're walking, because Seika did not turn their head. Seika. Yes. The nobility of this world. They're known for their extravagant gowns and jewelry. Monty. Yeah, usually. I yes. Mm. I believe one of them was keeping eyes on us, but they darted into one of the alleyways. Did they seem threatening? Would you say they seemed inquisitive, Monty? Like they were trying to scope out what was going on, and then before they could... I'm going to say, in. roll an insight check. Can both Panic and I do this? Because we both saw it. Oh, okay. Sure. There it is. Okay. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find some music that fits, because there's no cows here, and it's the cows... <laughs> Let's see how I do. Yeah. 18. Okay. <laughs> um, they seem to, when they saw Seika, their eyes kind of narrowed, like, oh my God, what's he doing here? And then there seemed to be some sort of like nod to themselves and then like leaving is what you get. But natural 20 though, it seems like they're happy that you're here and they seem almost relieved that you're here, but they didn't want to be noticed. So they ducked out of the way. Got it. Yeah. Not like I'm gonna, you know, rally the guards and stab them. It was more just like, okay, someone's here. I I have a plan now, and they kind of left. Like that's the sense you got. It was it was you know clear to you. They seemed inquisitive of your reason for being here, but upon noticing who and what you were, I believe they were quite relieved. Interesting. Not what I want. Hmm. Have we? Oh, While I thought he was like, that's here. not what I meant. I'm like, sorry, I was trying to paraphrase. No, no, I'm trying to find proper... This is hard. Okay. I don't have elemental plane of air sounds. Uh, there should be just a generic, there. like, that wind works. effect. I tried to find it. I couldn't find anything. All right, I found this. This will work. Okay. Sorry. Uh, quick this is why note. I'm not a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, while Marco. we are here, have I noticed any animals, small critters at all? Um, yes, actually. Um... There's a lot of winged monkeys here. Uh, yes! <laughs> I'll... 
Ooh. like rooftops there are winged monkeys there are a lot of birds as well um cranes um very beautiful looking birds peacocks that are kind of of a blue or white sort of uh persuasion and there are chickens um but they actually have bigger wings uh longer tail feathers and stranger heads and look as Ooh. if they can fly so that the enclosements mm. that they are in are actually fully encompassed um, now, if you know what chickens are like in real life, that's intimidating as yeah, fuck. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> are, are we talking like not, Brahmin chickens or? I mean, not they're not roosters, luckily. <laughs> roosters will mess you up. Um, but they're, <laughs> they're hens. Um, additionally, you see that there are actual like, um, uh, trying to think of what else there might be. Oh, there are little, um, little elementals they're little little tiny elementals um they look like literally miniature cute little elementals that kind of are hovering around some individuals um it looks like they're pets or something um they're so tiny and they kind of disappear and weave in and out um and they're kind of throughout the alleyways and whatnot no rats which is weird uh no pigeons weirder um it's definitely different you don't see any like bovine animals no goats no cows uh, but you do see, like, salesmen selling uh, skyfish. Like, that seems to be kind of the main export here is skyfish. The, the like, pigeons like have been replaced with putus. Like, in a butcher sort of capacity? Yeah. Definitely. Like, everything is, like, you know, they got one guy who's got, like, a sky eel, and he's just, like, cutting it up and carving so does, out pieces. So does the surrounding area sort of smell, like, fish markety almost? Do these people eat mostly fish? Fish market, you see someone selling vegetables. Um, the vegetables are just so strange, but they look similar to the vegetables that area had in those like glass pots. And you notice that there are, throughout the entire town, there are like on the rooftops, uh, glass pots hanging that contain vegetables, contain plants that appear to grow huh. without any need of earth and produce fruit. I was about to um, say. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Um, yes, yeah, definitely weird. The other thing you see is there's one stall as you guys are kind of standing in the market square uh, and you see these giant silkworms. Like, these things are about the size of a dog. Um, in, yeah, and, like, these corked jars that are just, just as large. Like, they're almost, like, fish tank size. Um, and you see them, like, being harvested for their silk. And you see also giant moths kept in cages, probably to make more worms. It's, it's very, very strange. Task nods his head. Yeah, that checks. <laughs> I just want to say that... Uh... Silkworms are one of the most terrifying looking caterpillar relatives I've ever seen. <laughs> right? And so the idea of one being the size of a dog is terrifying. They're much fatter um, than, you know, like real life silkworms are a lot wider mm. and um, they they look chunky. I'll just say that. They look they look very chunky. Man, just imagine the fucking health uh, the health station from Half Life Alex now, just like the size of like a person. <laughs> Um, oh. Notably, the Erganasi here are uh, in, the, in the market square range from rather nice clothing to very drab clothing. You got one Erganasi who's like, you know, begging for money. You got other Erganasi who are, you know, selling their goods or complaining about the price of things. Um, it's very much a normal market, but the moment you guys are with an eye shot, anybody who's saying anything just like turns and looks, and there's just like silence. Well, funny you say that, Monty. I was going to break the ice. I wanted to find a place where I can hopefully trade something for one of those knives. Okay, for one of those knives? Like just, just a basic bitch cloud stone knife. Okay, you see a individual, um, a rather spry looking <clears throat> female air ganasi with kind of spiky, it's really strange. You, she has spikes in her head similar to the other ganasi you've seen and spiky hair, it's hard to tell which is which. Um, as you approach her shop, she's currently taking what looks to be a metal carving knife to the stone um and is kind of carving and she doesn't even pay mind to you but sees your shadow and she goes give me a minute i'm almost done I'm kind of shh, shh, shh. how can i help you yes hello i was actually in the market for a normal knife she kind of like slowly like leans over the counter which, by the way, is made of a similar unrefined um, stone that appears to make up the ground. She kind of puts her hand and leans over. Oh, thank you, Bosco. I will look for that right now. That would actually... Is no, you're that good. In... Is that in... Um... It's the first tab of the jukebox. Tabletop audio? Correct. If you just type in wind, it'll come up as the ones that are tagged that. 
Oh, that's like scary. That's not gonna work. Uh, there's oh. one below it uh, where it's just the sound of the wind, which is the planes one. Uh, that's the one I've been playing, and it does not have. It has other sound effects to it. Curses. Yeah, I, I like I said. L I like, listen, I... the infamous sky cow will continue to fly by. <laughs> just don't mind it. <laughs> Oh. It's, it's a bunch of kids just catapulting weird. a cow off the side of the fucking island. <laughs> Fetch a lavash. What is this? this is All right. So this this Ergonasi individual. Thank you for trying, but yeah, unfortunately, it's it's uh, all good. Gonna... Um, this 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 worked well. It's a royal salon. It is a fancier market square. Mm -hmm. This Ganasi just kind of is like her eyes are bulging wide. And she's just like leaning on her counter, looking down at Task, just like. Like, yes, I understand. Look. I let, let me speed it up for you. I am from the material planes. I simply wish to make trade for a knife. Like human? Yes, like human. I'm not that though. I am a kobold. And you watch as she looks over. She sees the rest of your companions and the crowd behind them. She looks back and goes, "Okay." I have metal to trade. You begin to hear people murmuring, on you, he's got metal from the earth plane? And they kind of, there's some, there's some, like, some of the older Ganassi kind of grumble with, like, contempt. Others I, are more curious. I, I place, <laughs> I, I place a, I place a gold coin on the table. I have more of these, if you feel this is of equal value. This is useless to us. You kind of okay, very well. I give her a silver arrow. Thing. What would I use this for? To smelt it down, maybe? I don't know. Smelt? What's smelting? Oh. You take... Well, what would you like in trade, then? Silk? Airstone? Raw airstone? I have rope. What is rope? I take out my hemp and rope, and I cut off a slice of it. She kind of takes a thing or two. This is strange. What is this? Ugh, it, it feels awful. It, it's bindings. It holds things together. That's not bindings. She kind of leans over and she pulls out the silken rope, which is way nicer in comparison. This is proper bindings. Let's see what other stones I have in here, because I know I've actually kept a few. They're not from the element point of fire. They don't have smelting ability at all. No, oh. that's fair. Well, listen, hey, I don't fuck. In character, I don't know this. Yeah. Monty, do they have paper here? Like, has that been in general use at all? Yeah, you do see, um, not really, <sighs> definitely it's more silk and paper, like it's not stiff, mm -hmm. um, but they appear to have writing implements that probably are honestly better than Well, I'm not using there. these, so I put a deck of playing cards on the table. What are these? Playing cards. They're a game from my realm. How do you play? I show her how to play poker. Okay, go ahead and roll a card check if you have playing cards. I do not have that, but I have bone dice, so that's the problem. Okay. Um, uh, Greckles, so... Greckles will step in and show her because I do have cards. Just very quietly, <laughs> if that's okay, Monty. Sure, absolutely. Go ahead and roll. Um, cards. I just imagine 22. The, the crowd okay. of people behind us gathered, just watching you guys. Yeah, people teach are like surrounding as this is happening. Um, <laughs> There's like a huge circle. Like it's like probably the entire city is around you right now. Like it's like a crowd of people. Um, you see as Grickles, you you show them the card game. They don't have no idea what the hell they're doing. Like you slam down like you know um, two of a kind, and they slam down like just a dead hand. And you beat them like, with a two pair, and you're treating it like it's a royal flush. <laughs> <laughs> Did I win? I won, right? Because like the numbers mean more than yours, right? We're teaching them, so I would assume yes. Uh, what, no, they what, totally lost. Are you playing they're 21? Playing... No, they're no, playing. We're playing no, we're playing just regular poker. poker. This oh, person believes it. that like the higher they won, not the oh, card no, hand this itself. One. I, I, I show them. We the don't ace. have a rules card so in this day and age. I was gonna say, I, are we playing <laughs> are you playing hold'em though? Like what kind of poker? Yeah, Texas hold'em sounds fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, then you're looking for uh Tricadian hold'em patterns. There yeah, is a uh, Circadian Hold'em, yeah. It's Southern yeah, Circadian. so we're looking for patterns. I go, no, actually, this one would be better. These follow in a set order. The Jack follows the Queen, follows the King, follows the Ace. Um, as you guys are standing there, like, the crowd's like, oh, and you see this describe, like, writing down the rules. 
Is are they all distracted by the card game at the moment? Most people are, but like generally, all eyes are on you guys right now, like a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Could I try to stealth real quick? Good luck. Try. Go ahead. Look, oh man, all I want is a knife. <laughs> um, twenty-four. Okay. Sure. Yeah. You kind of bring your jacket over your head and you duck into the crowd. <laughs> People move away and kind of are like, oh, but they kind of turn back to the card game, focusing on the more weirdo-looking individuals, Borky and Tass, respectively. You guys are strange. You, you two are probably the strangest. Dude, that's fine. Uh, Okay. As um, Anakin, you're spiky, which is similar to Ganassi. They've seen that before. And yeah. Your, your skin complexion is similar to most Ganassi here as well. So I'm you... I'm sort of like a Ganassi, but different. It's crazy. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I polymorph into a bird. <laughs> okay. You turn into a bird. What kind of bird are you turning into? I'm turning into one of the bog standard birds that I see flying around this realm. Okay. You turn into a very you know peacock-ish looking flight bird. That's smaller in nature. So smaller? Okay. Maneuverable. I'll just, while that's happening, I'll just, I'll just flutter out from, from beneath everybody's feet, and I'll, I'll take the disguise, and I'll try to find that uh, uh, lady with the, with, the, with the tiara. Okay. Roll perception check with bird stats, please. You'll want a Bird? Hawk yeah. You're going to want to grab a hot hawk stat block, and you're going to want to use the perception okay. hawk stat block. I'm going to hawk. <laughs> Time to see if those bird eyes are better than your regular eyes. Wait, are you a bird of paradise right now? Do you consider this place I'm paradise? I'm a bird in paradise. <laughs> but when do you um, become a bird plane? I have a plus four to my perception as a hawk, so... Do you get any I bonuses have, as a hawk? Because I think you I get, like, a, advantage, don't you? Uh, the hawk oh. has advantage on perception checks that rely on sight. Yep, yeah, so that would be advantage so. with plus four. Roll 20, 20 plus four. Apparently there's an error in that formula, so I'll try again. <laughs> Here we go. That one worked. That's a 15. And show me the money. 12, so a 15. Okay. Um, you do see the woman as you're flying around. Um, you kind of perch on a roof and you see her kind of like uh, turning to um, a human man. Um, oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, oh, man. You see her speaking um, to him. I assume you do not speak Oren at all. Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, By any don't. chance, does he get that as the bird? No, he's a bird. He speaks bird. <laughs> no. I, I, I don't know I, how I smart these birds are. Um, well, I... I don't think if I polymorph, I get the creature's languages that well, I can only transform into beast as well. I get it. <laughs> Wait, Connor, <laughs> question. Yeah? I know we talked about your spells. Did you end up taking comprehend languages or did you not? I did not take comprehend languages. Curses! I took tongues, though. That's what I meant. That was the one I was looking for. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you see her talking with the human man, and you watch her duck into one of the buildings, and the human man just, like, looks exasperated. Like, it looks like they're kind of having a little bit of an argument. And you watch as she slams the door shut, and he's like, ugh, just slaps his forehead and starts running down the alleyway towards your companions. What's what's this guy look like? What's he dressed like? Alabastian? He has. He is human. 100% human. Um, he's kind of got, like, um, imagine Hammernar, but he let himself go. <laughs> um, he's got like long brown hair. He's got like kind of a, a, a more unkempt beard. Um, definitely an adventurer who's probably been wearing this set of clothes for way too long. Um, it's kind of worn down, but well used. He's got two swords at his side. Um, he looks maybe to be in his thirties or forties. You're not sure. Um, and he, he looks kind of tired, but he, he begins to make his way, uh, make his way towards does, his companions. Does he have anything on his person that I would recognize where it's from from our plane? Or is he dressed in or is he dressed in airplane stuff? Roll a per perception check for me. Oh boy, I have advantage on that. Do. Yo! Natural 20. Oh yeah. Hold on, I gotta grab something because again I didn't <coughs> think We wanna enjoy the twenty. Yeah Connor, yeah <laughs> I, I did it. Yeah. 
We love you again. You looked so hard, dude. Like the hardest. The hardest bird. Look, look with your bird eyes. <laughs> what do your bird eyes see? I see that. I, what I see that bird. That bird's tweeting sandstorm. <laughs> Wow, I knew Darude was kind of weird. I didn't realize he was from the plane of air. Oh, God. Okay, calm down, children. Um, so, Panic, as you look at him, you're like, I've seen that type of clothing before. Actually, I've seen that type of clothing recently. It looks very similar to that wizard guy who was in um, Enceladus's library from Cithella. Uh, or C oh. I always forget the name of this. I grabbed the map to double check the name. I'm still... Hold on, let me... Oh God. Uh, um. Uh, Cephalia. He's he's Cephalian. Like the armor is definitely Cephalian. It's very nice leather work. It's just worn. Um, and there's certain emblems on it that you recognize as being from uh Cephalia as well. Probably some sort of mercenary party guild or something like that. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, as he's as he's making his way, is he is he going towards our group? Yeah, he's heading towards your group. I want you to roll run one more um, perception for me as you're flying back. Okay, that's an 11 with advantage. It's going to be a 16. Okay. Not only do you notice this guy running towards your companions, you now see a bunch of guards heading in the direction of your companions. Uh-oh. <laughs> they are armored and they appear to be carrying... Um, nothing, actually. Uh, they're, they don't appear to be carrying any weapons at all uh, as they make their way towards, at a hurried state, towards your companions. Yep, they, uh, I was going to ask for a perception check for that. Okay, good. They do not look friendly. They don't look like they're curious. It looks like they're on a mission. God damn it. Okay, I will stay polymorphed. <laughs> and I will watch this unfold. Okay, so task, as you are continuing, happens simultaneously. The knife maker kind of like taps her finger on the countertop, looking down at the cards. Go ahead and roll a persuasion check for me. Okay. With yeah. advantage, because your companions, I would assume, are helping you. Yeah. I would hope so. 16 bolt sides. I'll give you one cloud sword for this. Ooh. Ooh. That is a fair. Yes, that is a fair trade. She takes it and she slides you a very nice, it's a scimitar sword. Uh, I can use these! <laughs> completely out of cloud stone. She makes sure to give you something you can use. Um, the hilt is wrapped what appears to be in, um, it's like stingray leather, but it's like Ooh. clearly sky stingray leather because it's oh, lighter dude, am I wearing... a lighter hue. Wow. Is this made out of a cloaker? Uh, not a cloaker. Cloakers are under dark creatures, and they are definitely not in the elemental plane of air. Um, Fair enough. But based off of your observation, this is clearly a sky stingray skin hilt. Um, fancy. It's very oh, yeah. fancy. The metal that makes up the hilt itself is appears to be made out of the same thing that Myrmidon armor is made out of. It's almost like a strange mithril silver. You're not sure. Um, but as you guys are all standing there, Remy, you begin to hear the sound of armor approaching at a fair distance. Sorry, Cobb. Um, does, does everyone notice it or just Remy? Uh, I'd say just Remy. Okay. Yes. Armored guards incoming and they don't sound friendly. Gather the group. Everyone. Oh, oh shit. And he'll just like, kind of, in, 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 I, I imagine the, the, the people gathered in the, in the, the square understand common, right? They do, yeah. Everyone okay. here has been speaking common. Um, and in hushed tones, people are speaking Orin. But most people... Orin is ancient Orin, which is what you would know. Um, there, there's there's modern Orin, which essentially is Japanese. And then there's right. ancient primordial Orin, which essentially <laughs> is them kind of... The only way you can speak it is in whispers. So at a normal volume, they speak common. But at a whispered volume, they speak Orin. Um, it's very interesting. Like, it literally just sounds like breath. Like, so sad. Like kind of like that, but mm. it is a language. Are, are, um, 
are we all being made aware of the situation? Is someone yeah, making I was gonna say, sense? I, I'd say, I shouted yeah. in common everyone, and you guys would all know that it was Seika who did that. my son until we get out of this, you will refer to me as Greckles. Is that understood? Of course. Do not use my real name. You now see as the crowd is being shoved aside very aggressively uh, as four fully armored guards um, kind of step forward. Um, they are bigger in stature, but you have Borky and he's the biggest boy here. Um, but they appear to be extremely physically fit. They have no shoes on. Um, their hair is tied back with silk ribbons. Um, and again, same similar sort of like these sort of like crystalline glass horns kind of protruding from the skin. Some have even have them coming out of their forearms. Um, I would say Seika, roll an investigation check for me. You'd be the only oh one who boy. would do this. Okay. Uh, 13. 13. Based on their garb, based on the fact they have no weapons, they are similar to you. They appear right. to be some sort of monk-like guard of some sort. Um, they kind of shove aside and the crowd kind of begins to like scatter and disperse as these four individuals kind of step forward. Uh, the leader kind of step forward and goes, Material walkers? What are you doing disturbing the peace? They say in common. Um, I'm uh. going to respond in uh, I guess that primordial Orin. Mm -hmm. My name is Kurayami Seika. I am here representing Kai Tenno, the Phoenix Tengu, master of the Molten Monastery. I wish to speak short. with the Grand Tempest. The Grand Tempest is in the state to speak to you. We ask that you leave and come back later when the matters are sorted efficiently. Unfortunately, this is a matter of utmost importance. I must insist. You watch as they kind of ignore you for a moment. They look back at your companions. Uh, all right. Are they waiting for a response? There's, or are they just no, looking they're, at they're, a... hold, Oh, if they wait hold, for a response, I'm going to have Tass so I can say something. Hold on. They, they just look and they look back to you, Seika. We are wondering why you are walking amongst material walkers and not your own brethren. Times are strained. Allies from unusual places are becoming more necessary. High Counselor Exalos has warned us of material walkers. High Counselor Exalos? Exalos. Yeah. My final boss name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. What's his, what's his heartless that? name? All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, so uh, this arcs Kefka, got it. God. And where is the High Counselor now? In the temple at the moment, dealing with the fact that his son was murdered. That is most unfortunate. It seems both our realms are plagued by, well, difficulties. Indeed. So you can understand why we wish to protect our own. We can turn a blind eye to you, but we cannot turn a blind eye to them. Master Exalos has asked for every single material walker to be removed, for they pose a risk to the great Elder Tempest. And you watch as they be in three of them. The one who's standing in front of uh, Seika does not change his position, but you watch as the other three, and Seika, you would know this, are getting into kind of a readied stance. Uh, panic, at this point, you're flying overhead. You kind of land on a roof, and you're looking down and seeing this altercation. At this point, people are beginning to kind of disperse. There's a few people who are, like, ready to watch a fight happen. Um, but as you guys are kind of standing there, you hear some panting behind you. <sighs> oh, okay. Not as young as I used to be. Hey, there you are! And you watch as you see a random-ass human guy just walk up to you in the middle of this tent sort of like standoffish sort of thing gosh it's been like uh 15 years you're a little you're a little late huh immediate Watch. insight inside check Who, is he addressing someone specifically or just all of us he's addressing your group okay. so not these ergonasi you guys right hey uh uh, that's going to be a 22. Uh, natural Ooh. 20. God. Yeah. Well, what do the birds know? Mm. Four. I oh, oh, my speaking God. Speaking of I... birds. 
Oh my god, I was gonna that 20. Oh, god. oh you Lots can't hide from the unexpectables <laughs> in the guests. Yeah, I know I you. Hey, I'll insight him, all right. You already know what he's doing. You don't have to insight your bird. But um, I want to. You <laughs> birds know oh, okay, so Gaijin, is, in Gaijin, we pass. Nine. <laughs> We automatically pass, Gaijin. They just know. Mm. I just wanted so, to use my minus four intelligence for something. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, oh, wait, insight is wisdom. Never mind, I'm stupid. Oh, my God. I, I know, that's why you didn't roll an in check. <laughs> uh, panic, as you're on top of a roof, you watch as a female bird lands next to you and starts, like, oh, like looking at you, and you're like, hmm. <laughs> um, Greckle's mm -hmm. task, 100%. Remy, there's a little bit of doubt in your mind, but you, you're picking up on this. This guy is throwing you a bone, and he's here to help you. Yup. Can, can, can I can I answer making, him? Oh. And he's yeah yeah he's, he kind of steps up and walks up to you. He seems like he's playing up like he's been waiting for you for forever, and he seems relieved to see you. Like he even like throws down his arm and goes, ah, oh, just kind of relieved. Go ahead. More like talk. 14. You missed your counting there, friend. I well hey you lose track when you've been trapped here for so long. What took you so long, huh? It was kind of difficult to get here, all things considered. Oh, good. oh hey, he kind of turns to the, the four uh, Aragonauts. You kind of, like, they, they loosen their position and goes, Oh, what are you doing here? And, like, he kind of walks up to them. One second. Uh, he kind of walks over and kind of, like, taps twice on the chest of uh, the one uh, the one Ganassi and goes, Fervor. Sorry, I should have told you guys. I mean, I put out the message like 10 years ago, but these are some friends of mine. They're from the mercenary guild I came from, back from the material plane. And you watch as they go, oh. He's going to roll a deception check, which you rolled very well with. Come on, you need to warn us of these things. I, you know, I, I thought they would show up, you know, that long ago, but, you know, it's really hard to travel here, considering when you show up here, you just, you know, boop. He makes like Dimensional kind of a... travel's kind of strange. It's very difficult, very challenging. Which, um, yeah, uh, good job, by the way. And he walks over to um, you, Greckles, and it's just like mm -hmm. kind of, you know, kind of pats you twice really strongly on the shoulder. And your magic's definitely got a lot better now that you can uh, teleport us to different planes, huh? That's going to be super useful to get us out. And you have to wait, like, how long? Do you have to wait, like, a week for that to come back or so? Or even longer, I've heard, like, a month, right? Yeah, something like that. You know, may maybe, you know, this, this seems like a kind of a, a, a tense situation. I mean, we're not causing any problems. Uh, we just, he, he just, he looks back over the guards. Honestly, we're, we just want to meet up with them. We're not trying to start anything. If Can anything, I we roll, want. Roll a deception check with advantage. Mm. I'm good at those. Do it, man. Uh, Do it, hands uh, I started, We're not saying words. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Ooh, oh, that scared me. 23. <laughs> I saw that one. I saw that one. Too. <laughs> um, you watch as uh, three three of the guards buy it. Like, they're just like, they're kind of like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Like, just like immediately are just like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the one guy who's kind of in the front kind of narrows his eyes towards Human, and Human kind of strides up to this guy and goes, hey, listen, I'll keep them off the streets. There'll be no trouble. And you watch as uh, he does a sleight of hand. Anyone who wants to can roll a perception check. Oh, hell yes. Oh, yes, yes. yes. A rogue. Bird. Nice. Nat 20. Wow. That's an 18 from Seika. Or he's still trying 24. to 24. Soft 20. Only Task. Radio? Only Damn. Task sees this as he slides wow. out a stack of those silken, like, bills, like the money, and just mm. hands it to the leader guy. And the leader guy takes it blinks kind of a couple times, puts in his pocket, and goes, stay out of trouble. And they both, all four of them, turn around and they leave. Oh, I love this guy. <laughs> he kind of turns and gives you a wink, because Greckles, he's kind of in shoulder to shoulder with you, like trying to make it really look like your best friends. Hey, how about a drink on me? I know just the place, and we can get to recharging that spell, huh? That would be absolutely fantastic. He kind of, he kind of knocks his head forward and gestures for y'all to follow him. Remy's yeah. going to lean, as we're leaving, Remy's going to lean into Seika's not ear hole. Do you okay, phrasing? Kn do you know them? Who do you speak of? Points to the human? I'm guessing no. No, not yeah. at all. Not in the slightest. 
Also, where does panic? Uh, he taps gonna... on the back of Remy. Remy, who is that guy? We've been friends for ten years, but that's it's crazy. really awkward. I don't remember, I don't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Just, I'm I've gonna... been friends for ten years, apparently, and I don't remember him. I don't want to be rude. Okay, are you doing a bit? <laughs> Dude, I got anxiety right now. Okay, don't even with me. <laughs> I'm gonna, we are just I'm gonna panic. flutter. I'm gonna flutter in and float down, and I'm gonna land on uh, Remy's shoulder. Okay. Oh, good. Remy, a bird lands on your shoulder. It's really pretty. Oh, why? All right, I get the irony, but really, really, <laughs> airplane of hell. I'll, 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 I'll leap over to his his cape and I'll peck at the peck at the house corbo would, emblem. All right. Would somebody please remove the bird? I, I, I got it. I got it. Greckles will just grab at the bird. <sighs> you don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you resist panic or no? No. <laughs> okay, you grab the bird, Greckles. You just kind of, you know, hold uh, it. Wow, what a specimen. Huh. Gai Gaijin, it's like it's like the pigeon from the Animaniacs bit. I oh know. No, but, <laughs> no, but legitimately, where is panic? I just lost sight of him. Who's panic? He's another guy. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll wait until we're not in town square. Too, Perhaps we should discuss this less out in the open. I would agree. That'd be great. You know, if I throw my neck for you guys, come on. Gre I'm Gre sorry. I, I do. Do I owe you one, or do you owe us one? I don't remember. Okay, shh. All right. You watch as he leads you, and panic. This is the exact similar uh, alleyway as the door is thrown open, uh -huh. and you guys come on inside. It is a darker lit interior. You notice that there is lighting in here, and it's lightning in a bottle. All the hanging lights are lightning bolts. Oh. Ooh. Do I, slick. Do this I make it brighter dangerous. when I walk in? <laughs> um, you do a little bit. You have ambient lighting to you, but you're not considered a light source. Okay, fair. Uh, as you walk in, you see as the lights kind of uh, flash. It, it appears to be some sort of, like, drinking establishment. It's like a tea house. Um, there's no, like, chairs it's like you know cushions like silk cushions on the ground and then tables made of stone um and you see kind of standing in the corner peeking around and she rushes over this uh young 20 something year old Ergonasi. she runs over and quickly closes the door as you guys all enter she's like oh, uh, you made it is safe. it the person What's... that we saw before yes it 100 percent is Whew. remy's gonna narrow his eyes at them not in a like i'm suspicious way but in like i recognize you way Oh, thank you so much, human. Yeah, you know, you don't have to call me that. I have a name. Cool. Can I get paid now? Uh, uh, in time. Oh, come on. You promised me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Slow down, slow down. Hopefully, What's all this about? Hopefully it makes up for the amount that you paid off the guard for. Yeah, I hope it does. And he kind of stares under her. And she's sorry, like, what? Oh, don't worry about it. Everybody does it. I'm getting no, Borky. Not everyone does it. Oh dear. Okay, uh, everyone, simmer down. Look, what's all this about? I'm so glad I was able to intercept you before you were found out. Though it sounds like you came very close. Thank you, Leon. I'm sorry. Mm. You watch as he goes over and he he pours himself a drink of tea and takes a takes a sip of tea. Uh, it, it is a pleasure to meet you. Uh, my name is Sonas. Uh, I'm the daughter to Exilos, the current standing council member and leader and current um, overseer of the Temple of Tempest and caretaker to the Elder Tempest. Cool. Why does your father want us dead? You see her actually, like, her eyes warble for a moment as she swallows a lump in her throat. Yeah, Remy's gonna, like, hit Task in the arm when he says that. I... <laughs> A little bit um, of tack, Task. Please, let's move into the back room where it is more private. All right, let's go. Uh, she gestures you into the back, which is actually like a stone. Like, it's actually made out of stone uh, sector um, that appears to be just like floor to ceiling. Um, these sort of like um, glass shelves that contain like marble glass. Like, you know, like countertops? Mm -hmm. um, shelves Ooh. and like each one, this, the odor in here just hits you. Um, it appears to be just filled with dried tea, uh, varying different flavors, and it, it is an assault on the senses. She kind of turns over towards you, Greckles, and goes, What's with the bird? Uh, Apparently, uh, a million, a million, a million gold question oh, there, ma'am. Oh, she's talking about me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Rude. I'm <not> smaller. 
I mean, smaller bird. I don't know. It, he just kind of came to us, and you know, I just spy. <laughs> you know, I kind of wonder what they taste like too. We haven't really eaten anything here. I've always imagined eating <laughs> Panic looks. Bird panic looks right up. <laughs> Crackles. What? <laughs> Why are you talking to a bird? I'm Rickles, glad that the that scene bird... has the added uh, has panic as a bird added to it. Greckles, does that bird understand you? Uh, maybe. Wait, do you wait, know... so... he... No, no, no. Greckles, Greckles will like put it up to his to his face. What do you know about us, bird? We don't know. We're in a different plane. S wait so a question. minute. Well, by the way, by the way, the dean, did I see him turn into a bird? No, none of you did. Nobody oh, saw yeah, him no. turn into a bird. We were no, the wall. Hey, Monty. Hi. Uh, can I roll an intelligence check to see if Task will remember a song that Panic has played on his guitar? Sure. <laughs> Are you trying to figure out that the spell that he cast? No, no, like, like, like a song he would play when he casts a spell, and I would whistle it back to him. Oh, okay, sure, yeah, just a straight intelligence check then. Twelve. Well, time to figure out whether or not Task is tone deaf. Go ahead. <laughs> Great. Well, this is great because I actually don't know how to whistle in real life. <laughs> <laughs> you can just go da 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 da. Ah, it's panic. Wait, wait, panic, panic! Get, get, get out of! He just kind, he just kind of throws him over his shoulder. Yeet the birds. As I'm like midair, just doing like cartwheels and shit. I unpolymorph. <laughs> I, can I catch you like a princess? Uh, sure, yeah, go yeah, for yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> I, right. I, un I polymorph back into me. <laughs> okay, so Remy is going to look at Pask, then look at Panic, then look at Task, and then turn to this woman <laughs> and just sigh. We know Hi. him. Panic Grim Tongue. I was doing recon. <laughs> Panic Grim Tongue. I was doing recon. Oh, you're a spellcaster. Truly, material walkers are quite talented. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. <sighs> we're, we're just full of... Okay, well, yeah, yeah, you yeah, smacks him in the back of the head. Not here for that. Oh. <laughs> all right, now yeah, that we're, all, we're, we're all full of that surprises. Particular Let's thing go. Is, you go first. We're all full of surprises. Let's get down to the matter. What is going on here? Yes, that. She kind of, like, clasps her hands together. I do not know. I was lucky to escape the temple myself. Something as strange is happening. Grand Tepa's waft has murdered my brother, and my father is taking his place, but he's acting so strangely. Strangely how? He's not himself. He's unreasonable, not listening to my counsel, not listening to anybody else's counsel. I know that he's rife with grief, as my brother was his only son, but I'm scared for him. Considering you... you are part of the council's family, may we ask you questions freely? Absolutely, yes. I've been told, um, I've heard rumors, and I've had visions. Seeing as a warriors would arrive, I can only assume that means you. Visions? Perhaps. Are you a prophet of some kind? Granted to me by the Elder Tempest, though my connection to them has been severed over the few days. Does she understand. have a holy symbol on her? Um, it doesn't appear that she does. Yeah. You want to share those crackers with the rest of the party? <laughs> yeah, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm mine! Because we you guys were... didn't bring crackers with a trip on me, now I get to share them. We were actually ambushed on our way here by what seemed to be... <sighs> Kremasan, how would you describe them? Myrmidons. Ah, uh, that's Myrmidons? Right. You were attacked by Myrmidons? Yes. Only the Elder Tempest can command Myrmidons or something of... Oh, dear. You watch as she kind of staggers up against the wall and looks very, very distressed. <laughs> Disney princess style? Wait, oh, what was her name again? Yeah. <laughs> can you like, tell like, me? Like Rapunzel realizing she's the lost princess levels of realization. <laughs> oh, Do we God. Get her name? Did I miss it? Sonas. Uh, her name is Sonas. Yeah. Sonas, okay. Can you tell me, have there been any other visitors to this temple before us? No, it's only ever been just the ones, the noblemen worthy of entering it and studying. And uh, of course, the prince himself, who speaks directly to the Grand Tempest. Wait, wait. 
Sonus, yes. does the does the name Korku mean anything to you? Korku. That's New Or and it means breath. I don't understand that. No. Looks over to to Seika. That they, they got to be taken over. How? Did you ever, above game, did you ever tell us how the elemental plane of fire was overtaken? Whether it was externally or inter internally? Oh, I imagine first. that it would have been yeah. part of what oh, we talked yeah. about, yeah. Was that, was it internal, like, I'm, I'm oh, sorry, no, was it, was it an, internal? For, for the plane of fire, it was an external force. They basically okay. showed up as an army of hobgoblins and uh, oni and took, took over by force. Okay, so it was an external affair. Interesting. Uh, we... Remy is gonna look at uh, Sonus. Uh, is she? Did she? You said she kind of like stepped back and is like bracing herself against something. She, she's younger. Um, you get the sense that this is her first rodeo. She is um, <laughs> a little stressed out right now. Uh, R Remy is going to move closer to her so that he doesn't have to talk with such an elevated voice. Um, I am curious what evidence there is against the Grand Tempest that he murdered your brother. Did you see it firsthand? No, I, I did not. But apparently, Grand Master, no, Grand Tempest Waft murdered my brother with my brother's own sword. Yes, I, I'm not disputing your claim. I'm asking for the evidence that you know of, of that claim. <sighs> I do not know. I, I'm not a member of the full council that discusses such matters, and they're keeping the incident rather quiet to avoid panic amongst the people. You said only. You said that the well, Myrmidons right. could only be could only be commanded by Grand Tempest Waft. No, the Elder Tempest. Elder Tempest. Okay. So the people don't know about this, and I'd rather they don't. For Master Waff's sake. Can he is no murderer. He is not. I swear upon it. Can you get us to Grand Tempest Waft? No, I cannot. <sighs> where is he's he been... currently being held? He's being held in a cloud citadel, but I'm not sure where. But he is safe. Who is not safe, I believe, is whoever is at the temple now. Please, brave warriors, and you watch as she drops to like all fours and does the full like head. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, my brain. I beg of you, please. I have such a bizarre request, but I beg of you, please. And she kind of looks up to you and stands up. She goes, I ask that you break into the Grand Temple and discover what's going on. Find evidence to the contrary. Prove Master Waft innocent. And please protect my father. Grickles will immediately just like take her, take a hand and try to get her back up. Okay, you help her up to her feet. And yeah. She kind of like she looks a little sheepish and she's kind of like, I, I apologize. No, there's no need to apologize. This is what we're here for. Apparently, it was destined that we were to be here. But we need to know how to get in, the ins and outs. Do, do you have any kind of floor plan? It, could you tell us any in passages, anything to help us get in? I. I can. I, I can help as much as I can. Um, here. She kind of like, let's go speak in the main area. Uh, Human! I have a name! Oh, Leon! Um, could you just watch the door for me, please? <sighs> Alright. <laughs> just your footsteps make their way to the door. Do you also have a, any kind of way to uh, conceal us? Um, I do not. I'm hmm. quite sorry. Do you have any clothing? Um, do you have any clothing that we could possibly change into to seem a little less conspicuous? She looks at her own clothing. I did not, I was not able to escape with very much. I am so sorry. That's all right. We'll make something work. Uh, Tat calls up his hand and just like waves, and it goes ethereal for a second. You have something. What? I have passed without trace. Oh, okay, okay. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't sure if that was if that was actually like a visual thing or if that was just like base stats. It helps. It helps you kind of blend in a little. bit Okay, better. my bad. My um, bad. 
It gives you a plus 10 to stealth checks, which is not... It, it all, yeah, it gives you a plus 10 to stealth. That's pretty yeah, substantial. That's not nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, and that's, 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 that's fine. But I at just... the same time, if you're, like, walking up in the middle of, like, an empty room and, like, up to someone, they're gonna yeah. maybe notice you even with the best stealth check in the world. No offense, but... Mm -hmm. Lady it, it helps! Uh, yes. If I may ask, do you know anything about the defenses of the temple? Perhaps well, god shifts that happen, or how many men typically are stationed there? Oh yes, there are the wardens. All right. Who who and what are the wardens? Well, there's the lion wardens, the dragon wardens, the crane wardens, and the serpent wardens. Based on what I've heard, you run into some of the crane wardens in town. They mostly deal with city guard. Masters right. of the martial arts, if my eyes do not deceive me. Yes, the crane wardens are martial arts experts. The Serpent Wardens are the only archers in the entire elemental plane of air. The Dragon Wardens are spearmen, they mostly defend the temple itself, and then the Lion Wardens are bulwarks. They're our most solid and heavy individuals, though she kind of turns and looks towards you, Borky. I'd say you probably have them beat in many ways. <laughs> and what do the Crab Wardens do? We don't. What's a crab? God damn it! I got it in, Connor. God damn. Okay. Okay. All right. Good pull, yeah. Connor. Good Connor. Pull. All right. He's Connor not allowed to fired. play cyberpunk. So guys, oh. Panic Grimtong dies unexpectedly. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. meanwhile, in the material plane under the water, Crabius the Mighty sneezes. Under the sea, <laughs> darling, it's better. Underwater. Where the memes are wetter. Under the sea. Sneeze underwater. Under I, I I got in I got in a reference. He I'm paused. proud of you. It's very good. I got <laughs> it. What, what were, really quick, what were the crane about, guys? The, the crane, crane were martial like, artists. Martial artists. The and mostly serpent, serpent is archers. Yes. Okay. And the dragons are spearmen. Yep. And and the lions were named as bulwark, but I'm guessing barbarians. Or I'm gonna assume I'm bulwark. gonna assume they are <laughs> fucking <laughs> paladins. <laughs> Shut up, Bosco. <laughs> <laughs> They're armored fighters. They excel at armored combat. Fighters. Hmm. Hmm. That bottle may be coming in real handy right now. I'm sorry. I, 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 my brain was lost somewhere. Do you have spellcasters as well among them? Um, no. Um, but there is, um, there is Divinos within the temple itself. Divinos? Yes, they are spellcaster. They're the only spellcaster of high substantialness here. Here is in, in the castle, or here is in the plane? Um, there might be spellcasters beyond, but here, here, in the temple. Do what they is school of magic? The... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to ask what their school of magic was. I wonder, Task. <laughs> Hey, for all we know, this motherfucker might have necromancy. Shut up! <laughs> Person called Divinos. <laughs> ah, yes, Divinos, the master of illusion spells. I'm gonna have her recall her memory. Oh, that's a natural one. Ooh, okay. Oh, no! Oh. She forgets I... who she is and everything she ever knew. I... She seems very... Who are you, guards? I'm gonna say... Hmm. I'm gonna say Seika. Roll an insight check on her real fast. See if I can actually do a good insight. L listen, for, for all we know, this motherfucker has 20. like has like summoned meteor in his back pocket. I'm gonna I'm gonna whisper you something. Uh oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Surprise thing. twist, he's actually a fighter. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. I've actually been a paladin this whole time. I can't believe <laughs> Is that you're why a fucking you're such guest a character and you're still the one getting the fucking secrets. I swear <laughs> to god, it's eternal sun all over again. <laughs> Fuck you. And you're, I need to speak with you outside real quick. Bullshit. First of all, I have never pulled that. No, you were the one that got pulled outside, and then I had to sit here being like, I wonder what the fuck that was about. Oh. Okay. You will. Uh, hmm. I'm sorry, I can't seem to keep my mind straight. Um, But I could maybe draw out a slight map and give you an idea of what you're looking at, perhaps? That's better be than helpful. nothing. Perhaps if I can gather everyone for a moment, uh, feel free to take a step outside if you need to. Uh, certainly. Um, please, I, I don't have anyone else to turn to. I, I don't want to seem desperate, but I I'm quite scared. 
It's what we're here for. And it's what we do. Um, you watch as she closes the door to the tea room, which is, by the way, it's like the size of like a closet. It's very small. <laughs> um, and she goes out, and you can hear her talking with, with Leon. I'm they afraid, Sir Remy, uh, that you have caught the lady at a disadvantage. Pardon? It seems she is quite attracted to you. You may wish uh, to ease up on your pressure. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Say that again. Her yeah, fluster again. is the direct <laughs> result of you addressing her so closely. I was showing respect to a fellow noble. Is that wrong? Apparently not. <laughs> Forky's oh, yeah. trying not to chuckle. <laughs> All right. Well, then I'm done talking. I will leave this to the rest of you. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, Remy. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect <laughs> you. Her. Sit the fuck down. Bye, sir. bye, bye, bye You're Bosco. In this. Bye, Bosco. <laughs> it's just a scene, and you just watch as Remy just whoop, just like slides off with no animation. <laughs> he fucking like, he posts and the team mods plane. himself out like a ragdoll. <laughs> yeah. I do not believe you need to completely close yourself off. Just. Be aware that you do have her caught off guard. <laughs> so, oh. it's an odd thing to bring up in the middle of this serious murder mystery kidnap thing, but. <laughs> you know, guys, I might have an idea. Can you excuse me for just a second? Okay. How far away is Leon, Monty? He's at the front of this establishment. This establishment is rather small, uh, low ceilings as well. Um, I'd say if, if you open up the door, he's maybe like, what, 20 feet away at most. Hey, Leon, you got a second? I'm just saying, I, I asked for, yeah, he turns up and looks towards you. He's been talking to Sonus. I might, uh, I could use your help with something. I might be able to make it worth it for you. Oh. Watch the door. You watch as he walks away. You watch as, like, out of character. Like, just Sonus bricks up like a baseball bat to guard the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wiffle ball bat. She just kind of looks out the, the window and just kind of stays in place as uh, Leon kind of walks over. And he's like, you spoke money, um, which I doubt you have, given the fact that you've just arrived here. But I am listening because I am in the, the market for some other things. How hard would it be to scrounge out? How many of us are there now? Six? Good grief. How hard would it be to scrounge out six pieces of uh, clothing that might make us a little <laughs> less inconspicuous? Yeah, you have a beak. No offense, but yeah, you I have can, a beak. Yeah, I can work with that. You've skipped leg day, clearly. Yeah, I can work with Whoa! that. Whoa! Hey! All got little thin stick legs. Also, can I, can I do a little bit of an insight to see if he's a roguish type? Uh, go ahead, yeah, we'll roll an investigation check. You have an entire language dedicated to it. I'm aware of that, but he's been gone for a while, 24. Uh, you don't know. Uh, maybe fighter, maybe rogue, you're not sure. He's got two swords, though. Uh, he could even be a ranger. You have no idea. Right. Look, all I'm saying is that we get a big task, and, uh, it'd be nice to have some good threads around here. <laughs> With yeah, well. respect, Greckles, I'm mm -hmm. afraid that... Given our collection of persons, I think sneaking in as a group would be ill-advised. That's strange. It sounds like that's what the lady wanted. The worry well, is, if we yes, attempt to but... sneak in, we are more than likely going to still attract a lot of attention unless they can find a way in that isn't through the front door. Right, and I believe the entire town is already aware of our appearances. We could pretend that we've been arrested. That would not take you to the temple. That would take you to the Cloud Citadel, where you will be arrested and held prisoner okay. for. I was of the understanding that that was the same big place. Okay. <sighs> anyway, Leon, <sighs> I ain't got much, but some that can make us a little less conspicuous, if you know what I mean. Oh man! Oh gosh! He just like rubs his face. Just went from drinking to espionage. Great. Um. I 
mean, the biggest thing would just be getting through the front gate. Once you're in, you might be able to sneak around. That would be the idea. Is there anything that can get us through the front gate? Even if it's not a disguise, if there's a reason, a, a ritual that even outsiders can participate in in the temple. Why are you asking me when you have... He just points towards Sonas, who's still looking out the window. Well, for I just one, they're not there. For two, I'm not allowed to talk to them anymore. And number what? three, you're Why also... <laughs> You're uh, also an outsider. I thought maybe you would know how other outsiders could move around the town without being arrested. Look, number one, if you don't want to get arrested, don't start bar fights. That's my advice. Number two, okay. get used to it. No one gets used to it. Okay. That's why we're trying to figure this out. <sighs> Lady, uh, Sonis! Uh, yes. She turns uh, you me. may re-enter if you like. Perhaps we should all exit. It's rather crammed in there. Great. All right, we'll do that. Well, okay, you're good. Hey, Leon, not for nothing, but uh, here's something from home. I'm going to give him one of my rations that has, like, dried meats and nuts and stuff like that. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, I'm so tired of skyfish. <laughs> <laughs> I can only, I can only imagine. <laughs> but hey, hey, listen, listen. If there's anything you can do to help, so let me know, okay? Just kind of pat him on the shoulder. Try my best. That's all I could ask for. Trail mix where that came. <laughs> Curiosity. As he, as you guys all walk out into kind of the main like area, and at this point there's like a table where you guys can sit. Like no chairs. You sit on your knees. Um, you watch as he turns and goes. Actually, I do have a question. Do any of you have any magical capabilities? A lot of us do, actually. A few of us do. I was Great. a bird. <laughs> you were. Right. Yes, you were, Panic. I know yes, what it's like were. now. We were all we pigeons were... at one point. Yeah, we turned into pigeons at right, one point. Right, we were. I forgot about that. Oh my that. god, I actually know what it's like to be a bird too. I look at the fuck I think of the hummingbird thing. I'll be I felt... honest, I think I think we had enough. I've kind of forgotten a lot of these memories. Alright, so Liam, where are you getting at? Is there any chance at all? that you could send me back to Cephelia, because that would be great. We could possibly get you to Alavast. It would at least get you on the right plane. Actually, what is Alavast? What is Mon that? Monty, serious question. Yeah. Since I knew how to open the gate to this plane, and I presume I must have known how to do it with the material plane to get there in the first place, is that something I would be able to do for him? No, you absolutely cannot. Okay. You you don't even have a ticket back to the material plane at this point. Oh. That's been used. Cool. Sika, you've trapped us here. You. <laughs> <laughs> so, real quick, Monty, the place that he said, the name, does that ring a bell to any of us from yes. where we've been around the world? You met a wizard um, mm -hmm. in the tower who's from Satellia. It's the largest... Uh, it's the largest country in the Alton region. You would I know thought it was Alton. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's uh, the the uh, northwesternmost point of the country. Um, kind of a big port hub. Big magic town there. Big, big uh, magic town there. Met a guy Remy, from Cethelia. Remy will raise an eyebrow as he mentions it. You're from the Alton region. Yeah, from Cethelia. I am from Valithia. I thought I recognized that crest on your chest. How is it? Oh. Uh, I wish I could tell you better than it was when I was there. I think it was there was war going on when I was there last. The times kind of. Uh, kind of yes, crazy. thankfully that has been rectified. Oh, good as it is. Oh, region politics and all that. Oh, don't remind. Wait, me. you. Let's roll it back a bit. You don't know what Alavast is. No. Panic, to be fair, it is a large town, but it is rather new, and war doesn't exactly travel fast. I've Look. been in here for 15 years. I, Look, oh. point, point being, we can at least get you on the plane, and then we can get you there. We actually have people from where you're from in our town. Really? Yeah. Huh. Good. I can't, I can't promise that we'll get you back, but if we're going to get back, I'd be surprised if we couldn't get you back. I mean, did I not write down the ritual that teleports us back? I thought I did that for the Underdark. No, that's that's a teleportation circle. And that thinking. doesn't work through planes. So the only person that that's done from planes. this plane to our plane is Seika, and they use that ticket? That so was an item. 
Yeah. Yeah, that was an item that's a one-time use. So. so theoretically, we're supposed to, after we do all this, we'll talk to someone about getting another ticket, but we don't have right. it. Right now we have now. to help Greg <laughs> Well, well, now, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is noticed. that such a horrible thing? Well, I mean, we traveled here. And I... So he, all right, I'm going to say this again. Because Greg you said we're going to help him, right? Let's get to that bridge when we cross to it. Help out Sonas for she's the bleeding heart right now. Um, thanks. She kind of rolls out a, a silk piece of a cloth on the ground and she pulls out a inkwell um, and a brush. So, um, my memory is a bit um, not the best of the location, but <clears throat> I will try and draw it as best as I can. I'm no artist. Black's composition. Yes. <laughs> He's no artist, just like Remy can't do voices. Man, what, what a world about? we live in. That is a, that is a polar bear in a snowstorm. That is one of the greatest collections of art ever. Who are you, my around. dad? Stop it, Mark. Uh, my... Yeah, that, that was uh, a lot. So, my dad made uh, that exact joke. I'm sorry. I'm just, I just, I, I am the You don't understand. Mark has jokes, been a dad so. his entire life. Yeah. <laughs> All of my jokes are dad jokes. Um, so, we are currently, if you look to the northmost point of this rope, we are here. Uh, I can't see anything. Zoom out. Uh, oh, you should probably there it is. Also oh, there it is. For, I see it. Uh, I did. For, uh, Wallfly. So. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Okay. Monty, you're on this, man. I gotta, I gotta say props to you. So, um, this is the town that we're at. Now, if we head up, there's a bridge that leads up to the temple entrance. That's where people can schedule meetings with council members or even Grand Tempest Swap himself. There will be guards positioned there, and that's where the first set of guards will be. If we pass the bridge, there will be an open end way. Two guard posts right here. And then there should be stairs leading up. Once you make your way through there, there's the Grand Pavilion. There are four towers. Each one that is essentially training space for each warden type. There's the lion tower, the serpent tower, the dragon tower, um, and the crane tower. But you shouldn't have to worry too much about that. The tricky part is going to be getting into the main temple. The temple has many rooms, some that I haven't even been inside of myself. So... But this is the layout that you understand it as of right now. That's the entrance point, yes. Um, if that makes sense. There's the bridge, then there's the guard pavilion with the meeting area, and then once you go past, then you'll be in the main pavilion. The guards will probably be thinner in there, but once you reach the temple, it's going to be very much thicker. Here is my question to you about that initial entrance point, because ideally we are looking to avoid as many fights as possible. One, for our own health, and two, to not injure people who are simply following orders. Is there a reason that any outsiders would be allowed to enter the temple, be it for worship or for questioning or what have you? My father's completely forbidden it. So, no. So we have how, no choice but force our way in. How far away is, how long is this bridge? The bridge, um, I'd say it's probably about 60 feet in length, perhaps, maybe even a bit longer. Panic. How many times can you get people? How, how how many times could you get people to and from that location? Huh. Oh boy. Um. That is an excellent question. Let me. Um. I can do it fast, or I can do it slow. And slow might not be might be a last resort type of thing um, um i think I'll... i can polymorph myself into something that can carry multiple people uh i can dimension uh, nope i cannot i actually can only polymorph mm. you could drop in from above but you could not drop up above of the temple to be noticed but perhaps above the pavilion or maybe even land on one of the towers and fight your way down perhaps what does the bridge go over um, nothing. Air, sky. I would assume that. <sighs> Could we not approach from the underside of the bridge? Perhaps. I was about to say, I actually... 
I got all the, I got all these scrolls of spider climb. I've only got three though, and I'd hate to burn all three of them in this one attempt. But if we have to, we have to. We could literally walk under the bridge, go unnoticed, climb our way up and around past the towers, get into the pavilion. I can stealth myself, invisibility stealth myself, two other people, but that would blow every single slot that I got. Question for you, Sonus. Yeah. If yeah. we engage the guards, mm -hmm. will they surround us with reinforcements? I imagine that they would just call for backup and anyone, either outside or inside the temple, would rush our location. There are guards at every entrance and exit to the temple itself. But they are stationed rather... Hmm. It would take a while for them to arrive on your position, if that makes sense. Right, so we would have some time. Is we there a chamber something. within the temple, like, for example, where the council meets that we could perhaps hold ourselves up in? There is a dining area, probably the centermost point. All right. So let's deal with the first problem, Unexpectables. The point of entry. Do you believe we should go underneath, as Grekel suggests, or Sonus suggests from the air? If we go in from yep. the air, if we go in from the air, how are we going to do that and not be spotted? My suggestion would be our new friends are going to have to leave port at some point. If we hitch a ride and they take that particular direction out, we simply free fall in. Here's the problem with that plan: we would have to go back out into the city and somehow get back up from where we came down, from where we slid down. Unless we look at message out. It, if Although they're probably like... not willing to even take us. They seemed pretty hesitant to near the end there. If anything, I would be more hesitant to ask it of them. I think the better thing to do is for us to just go in as quietly as possible. <sighs> we would have an hour. Either way, we would have an hour to get in. How do different you're... is the guard very up during the night? What... <laughs> You said you only have three scrolls, however, right, Greckles? I do, but that's not the only way we could get in. I'm listening. Hmm. I, I mean, still... you could approach as you are and try to speak with them. I just... Maybe I'm, I'm not I... exactly the most assertive person. Perhaps. I wouldn't think that that's a good idea. Oh, well, hang on a second. We do, we do have Seika with us. It is some form of leverage. Seika may not be able to pull us through. Sonus, are you allowed into the temple itself? I do not wish to return to the temple by any means necessary. I fear that it is a very dangerous place right now. Can you get us past the two guard towers? Just roll with me on this. Can you get up to the two guard towers and then go get us going from there? You watch as she kind of sits down and, and thinks about it. Um, forgive me. I am scared of my return. If I arrive and my father finds out, I'm afraid that I might be trapped within the temple itself. And Gretel's That's fine. Keep, keep in mind, if her father finds out that she aided us in any way, it could be a backlash long after we're gone. I'm aware. Thank, thank you. She kind of nods towards you, Remy. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap my arms around Greckles and try to lift him up. Okay. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. How easy is it? I mean, I got hollow burr bones, buddy. So you're pretty light. You broke him. Panic, Panic sets him back down and goes, okay. Goes over the attack, <laughs> does the same thing. You just hold him under under your armpit, just like, okay. Yeah. Lift just, him up. <laughs> still put in standing me, position. Just chat, yeah. Tash, just like, Tash, just, you just hear him go, put me down right now. Okay. I got what I need. <laughs> <laughs> and I set him back down. Uh, go over to Remy. Oh, you're wearing heavy armor, actually. Um, Seika. And I do the same thing to him. I mean, what are you doing? I am formulating a plot. A plot that might be able to help us with this. Is there potentially a, a plot that you could talk us through? So, yeah, I because have I a spell. You could lift me. Well, I can actually lift a thousand pounds. So, what? What? Oh, you're gonna big brain it. Oh, I, 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 I'm going to literally big brain it. I don't like where this is going. No, uh, good. no because I want to add something into this. I also oh, have silence. What else? Just really quick above game. You have silence, pass without trace. What else do you have that might like be party wide quote? Pass without a trace and, and silence. That's it. Okay. 
So this is what we got. I can turn three people invisible. I can get three people to walk on any surface. Taz can get a group of us pretty stealthily in and completely devoid an area of sound. Panic, you can big brain us individually over. I don't know how far oh, yeah. that's going to reach. Um, Looking through my brain, because that's where I memorize my spells. Uh, <laughs> Let me peer inside my own brain. You got like that <laughs> Sherlock <laughs> thing where the balls roll in the back of my head and I stare at my brain. Man, I can't I, believe you cast Minor Illusion to make your brain. It has a range of 60 feet. And I can move you 30 feet per second. Sonus, is that going to be close enough? To the bridge? To the bridge and to keep us out of That's sight. Missy step? What spell is that? Sorry? No, he's... he's, te he's, Tele he's oh, telekinesis. telekinesis. I can I can lift us over, is what he's Slam saying. motherfuckers against how the high stuff is. As as well, a, as a point of note above game, uh, and just as a reminder, uh, because I am a monk, um, I can move a hundred feet on a vertical surface as if it were horizontal. Like I could just wall run the side of the bridge and get across the bridge in one. So I'm gonna so do something I've never done before because just to clarify some visual things real fast, mm -hmm. I'm gonna post something in general, which is the sketch of the guard station, which I'm gonna draw. I drew out for you. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. So oh, it Thank is you. the bridge reaches a point where there are walls on either side um, mm. as you breach over the bridge, and they're they're about I'm gonna say thirty feet high. Um, okay. There is a large there is a large wall that the circumference is around the entire keep. Um, so notably in the front, there's the bridge that leads over into like a front open way. On the left and right of this are two buildings that contain guard quarters for the front entrance guard that rotate out. There are four okay. guards total, two on each <laughs> side. And then a staircase that leads up into a chamber that is essentially a um, a politician or a worker who speaks directly to the people on matters, you know, pertaining to, um, you know, the city. Wait, the wizard. A crier, yeah, like, basically. It's like a crier. Well, not a crier. It's like someone, you're, you're like a middleman, I guess, for lack of a better term. Like someone you'd speak to, to then have him carry on the messages to, you know. A receptionist. Yeah, basically a fancy <laughs> secretary receptionist who probably gets yelled at way oh. too much. Um, behind, beyond that, like past his office would the door that you see in the top uh, left, uh, top right corner, um, that would lead into the main pavilion, which would be this open courtyard area containing gardens of immaculate beauty um, and the four um, towers. Um, notably, you guys did notice when you guys were flying in, these towers have essentially silk windmills on top of them that kind of uh, spin vertically. Um, and each one uh, is about three stories high with a watchtower at the top, or sorry, it'd be one, two, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight, maybe eight uh, stories tall with then the windmill on top, which they, they come out as like actual pyres. Um, and then beyond that would be the, the front entrance to the, um, the temple. I'm trying to think of a real world equivalent. Um, there's one temple, like it, it's a, ca it's like a castle um, it's, it's a Chinese castle, and I can't remember what the fuck it's called. It's killing me right now. Um, I think it's like it's called the something city. Um, but the Forbidden it like, City. The Forbidden City. I think it's city? the Forbidden City. Yeah, yeah. Oh. it's kind of got the same sort of like it's open, and then has like a front staircase that leads up into the main like mm -hmm. building itself. I see what you're. So it's layers. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Got no, it. I, so each, got each it. of these yeah. is a lot. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So okay. you have you have the front entrance part that has two guards and then the the receptionist guy then you have the big courtyard kind of like if anyone's played okami you remember how mm. there was like the yeah, front absolutely. secretary mm. in it, and then as mm. you went inside it was like the big nobleman space and then right. way in the back is the temple itself so it's got the same sort of like you have front entrance giant courtyard that leads into the big giant temple that kind of is it's one it's a one-story building but uh, Sonus does point out you can actually hide beneath the building itself, but it is rather thick and made of stone. Um, so if you need to rest, you can rest beneath the temple itself, perhaps, if you feel exhausted. That is good to know. It so, depends on how much interference we encounter. There so is just, a way inside to... in the pantry. They actually keep items beneath in the pantry area uh, in the kitchen, which is right next to the main dining area. 
You were gonna say something, Mark? Yeah, so I just wanna clarify. So if we were to not just go across the top of the bridge, every other point of entry has at, at least a 30 foot tall wall, correct? Yes, the okay. entire <laughs> circumference of the compound has a 30 foot wall, stone okay. solid wall, yes. Mm. Is, is the top of the wall traversable? Um, it appears to be, it doesn't have any spikes or anything. Okay. Is it just a defensive wall or could people actually walk along it like guards? Um, it doesn't appear to have a, um, a sort of a, a place where people will walk across. Yeah, I was it curious if the parapet they... walls or not. Okay. Oh, okay. It's like so a straight it's... stone wall. It's not mm. a parapet wall So it's traversable, but it's not great footing. No, not at all. Okay. That's good to know. So that being said, above game real quick for the sake of brevity. Connor, does your idea still work with that layout in mind? Just hopping over the, the first wall? I mean... Telekinesis is a range of 60 feet, so if we need to get up and over that wall, we can do it if I'm within 60 feet of you. So it's 30 up and 30 down, so you're basically putting us up, putting us down, and you'd be fine. But we would also yeah. but we would also be spotted, because we would have to right. go at it from the front. Uh, so somebody would have to run a distraction. So here so above game, real quick, and I can roleplay this real quick. What if the group of us that are in Seika try to do this wall idea, but Seika can walk in as a distraction because what they said is no outsiders yeah, are allowed in the palace. If Seika causes the distraction and goes, hey, I'm here as a representative solo, let me in. We already know that the family members of the of the uh, the elders are allowed in. Seika should be allowed in as a political representation of representative of a leader. Mm -hmm. If they are able to cause that distraction and be let in while we're going over, we meet up outside the gate when it closes, boom, we're in. And I'll role play that if we need to. That's actually like uh, that's that's a decent plan. I'm terrified, but yeah, they did say oh, like welcome to unexpectables. Well, I, I don't know. Say, because, no. because, <laughs> the moments. one the one person that is native to this land that wouldn't fall under well, not this land, but I'm well, not you know a what I mean. Material this, this, planeswalker. So. Yes. So here's what we can do: we can roll with that plan. Um, again, we I can have up to three people walking on any surface, so you could walk under the bridge, up and around, and actually, uh go completely around the wall and keep out of sight. Uh, that lasts for an hour. And, yes, or we... I, and or I've got invisibility I can drop on up to three people. Actually, no, I can only drop one at a time because I have one concentration. Dang. Right. Yes. Yeah, so okay. so if there, there are, minus Seika, there's five of us. So you could do one invisibility, mm -hmm. three could walk underneath, and then you have that fourth person who's like, mm. Well, Task has... Um, Task without a trace, pass which would trace. really help. So, but, yeah. but it's an open bridge. That's kind of the problem. Well, well, he wouldn't be going across the bridge. That's, that that's doing why the, I suggest we do this in the cover of night. Mm -hmm. No, I agree well, with that. Yeah. Well, I yeah. definitely don't want to do it in broad daylight. Yeah, if we did it at so, night, then Tass so could from, probably sneak close. So if you guys are breaching the front entrance, there are two Correct. guards in position. And Sonus points them out. They, they stand in front of the guard, the guard quarters mm -hmm. on either side of the staircase that leads up to the secretary's office. They are the only guards that are present in that area at that time. Once okay. you reach the podium, question mark, question mark, question mark, because, you know, that's where they train the guards and there could be more guards in there as well. Right. So. So here's here's my question, Monty. The guard posts for the bridge, are they stationed at the back or the front of the bridge? Uh, so if you, you cross the bridge from the civilian side over there, once you pass the bridge. Like, so they're at the off. other end of the so bridge you're before you within bridge. the wall. Okay. So we would yeah, have to traverse the, the bridge walls. to get to the guard. Got it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay. The guards are not okay. on the bridge. There's no guards on the bridge. But at the end of the bridge, once you reach the, the main area, like the main uh, ground like, area of the yeah, front yeah. entrance, there's going to be guards waiting there. That's so that, that will help us with the cover of night. So here's my question to you, Chris, because it's your it's your spell. Pass without a trace is one. You have to cast it once per person that you use it on, correct? Uh, or is it a group? It's pass a without a trace. Uh, pass without a trace is a veil of shadows radiates from from you, masking you and your companions from detection for the duration. Each creature you choose within thirty feet of you, including yourself, have a plus ten dexterity stealth bonus check. Okay, so and here's cannot what you be can tracked. Do. Oh, and cannot be tracked by magical means. Boom. Mm. So that is huge. So if you passed us without a trace to within twenty feet of the wall under the cover of nightfall, as Seiko went forward to speak to them. Connor, theoretically, you could do 30 up, 20 over, and then 30 down, right? Yes, but I'd have to do you individually, I think. Unless okay, you were but on, that could... Unless you were on something that I could lift. Uh, 
That is a question for like a blanket or something. <laughs> Does it, can it be literally? Can it be literally anything? I guess it a says an object. Like, because my question a... is, a blanket. If you lift somebody, like the blanket might give out. You know how that? But if it that's the, like, that's a pass, DM question. Pass without a trace will not affect a blanket. I'm sorry. No, but you so. know what will? They might have flying carpets. We don't know. <laughs> uh, hey, hey you listen. World. You know what? You know what might work instead. Uh, so, Connor, question: uh, What components do you need to do telekinesis? I don't. Vocal and somatic. Vocal and somatic. All right. So the problem is, is that once I cast silence, there goes your vocal. Why, I was why say, would we? I can still. Yeah, I can silence. still. I can still concentrate on telekinesis for ten minutes without having to keep vocal components up. I, because I also don't think silence. you need silence if you're doing pass without trace because you're yeah, already you're silencing the bonus to stealth. How about, right, how about uh, because I, I realize now I should have probably transferred over the map that I did last night that I gave up on halfway. Um, we're going to take a break here because it's All right, fair enough. And Good. I think everyone, everyone, everyone pee, eat something and think about what you want to do and we'll come back and reconvene. This, yeah. is, your guys is, this is your guys' heights. I hope you're yep. excited for this. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm, I'm, I, I'm I, extremely I have felt excited. so bad because I've had nothing to add this whole time. I'm like, I got, they're, they're fucking getting it. <laughs> Trust me, Kurt, I've been there. I feel you. I'm, oh, no, I, I'm I, so I, sorry. I, this this so, whole I'm arc, I felt, I, felt, I, I felt bad because I just... Try not, I'm going to say this, uh, try not to deliberate too much because I'm going to hard cut off a point because we're going to have to yeah. get to the if, if we like so. the idea that we could think about what we just talked okay. about, if if you if we could do one at a time over the top with Pass Without a Trace and Seika doing the distraction, we should be good, and then we can just role play it real quick and be I, done. I feel like yeah. this is the most best laid plan we have so far. I would agree. It I also am going it, to transfer the map because apparently we're going to need it. So I would okay. I'm going to go to the restroom. All right, me too. Awesome. I will stay here and do my halftime show. Hi, chat. Welcome into the Unexpectables Halftime Report. My name is Edward Bosco. Pleasure to have you all here with us. It's always a blast that you choose to spend your Wednesday nights with us. We appreciate it. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, Die Hard Dice. When you're trying to figure out whether or not you want to risk rolling a die, make sure you die hard with Die Hard Dice. Yes, use the promo code EXPECTJOY, all one word, lowercase. With every purchase, you're going to get 15% off those Die Hard Dice. Uh, 100 bits from Zenlita. Uh, three times. The only downside to this heist is that it isn't in the water plane, so we can call the episode Oceans 6. No, but we, we could call it Sky Heist. Sky High Heist. <laughs> I'm clever sometimes. Anyway, that notwithstanding, hashtag Love Bosco 2020. Don't do that. That's a terrible idea. Sky crime would also be a good one. Be high, do crime. <laughs> Sky heist I like, because I like when stuff rhymes and stuff. Sky crimes redux. Oh, dear. Bosco, could you catch the people who just woke up on what happened? Yeah, so long story short, we arrived at the plane of air thanks to our friends on the back of a rock. And as we got down, we were trying to figure out where we had to go. We all decided that Seika, after dismounting, would be the one to talk to everybody. So we were all following Seika, and everybody around us seemed to be infatuated with these material plane walkers. They very quickly began to stop what they were doing, and all eyes were on us. So Task was like, you know what? I got an idea. I'm going to go over to these merchants and talk to them. Ended up showing somebody how to play cards, which caused a little bit of a crowd, and they were quite impressed. Panic and I saw someone who looked like they were in noble attire, which turned out to be Sonus, if you joined us at that part. They uh, they looked. They saw Seika. They were like, ooh, that's a good thing, and then ran off. Panic polymorphed into a bird, followed her, and saw her talking to a human named Human, actually Leon. And shortly after that, saw guards rushing our position, which Remy heard informed Seika, who rounded up the group. We were approached by those guards, and thankfully the Human ran a distraction and was able to convince the guards to let us go, because apparently everybody in this plane, if you're not from one of the elemental planes, is not supposed to be here. So material walkers are no-no. So they asked us to leave, but this guy talked it out, figured it out. It's all good. Anyway... So then we found out that, oh, Sonus is the uh, the daughter, or not the daughter, the uh, sister 
of the person who was murdered. But they don't think that what is being said happened actually happened, and her father has been acting very strangely. So we are now, at her request, trying to figure out a way to get into the temple to investigate what's going on. And that kind of catches you up to where we are. That's the Reader's Digest version. DeLuna13 with 100 bits. Hey, Ed, I passed all my college finals. Thanks to you all for giving me some great background noise while I study. Well, congratulations, DeLuna. Oh, I'm sure DeLuna12 is very proud of you. Uh, the Rare Wyatt with 500 bits. No message, just bits. Thank you so much for that. I missed a couple of other ones. Uh... Falkendo, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Dread Hunter with 300 bits. Episode title, Mission Unexpectable. It's also pretty solid. Uh, Sedonium at 92 with 500 bits. How is Bosco still just a guest? Would assume he would be just some guy by now. Joking aside, really appreciate everything you bring to both the Unexpectables and the First Division. Actually, it's funny you mention that. If you want to see the difference between why Remy's a guest and Bryant isn't, Look at how they're treated in a story context, and that's probably my best answer. Remy is, and I was actually talking about this with my buddy Jack not too long ago. Remy is a glorified NPC, whereas Bryant is one of the heroes of the story, and that's what the way those are framed. That's why we I still call him a guest character. I know I'm here a lot, but so is the pumpkin spice latte and the McRib, but they eventually go away. Uh, Peter Piper with 100 bits. Episode title, The Winds of Change. Also solid. It's a couple of good ones in this. Uh, I think I'm all caught up. Uh, Z-Man Stardust. Thank you for the tier one subs. See you in the VOD. Hope it is going well. We'll see. Episode title, Clouds 11. Actually, Clouds 9 would be solid. It is both a reference to an esports team and a saying. Those That would be a solid <laughs> one. Uh, what else do we got? Luke the Lucas. Thank you for the bits. I only have a few bits, but hype train. Uh, Absol, thank you for the 100 bits. And now I'm trying to catch up. Here's a Mozart, 100 bits. Shill your print signing. I'll... Fine. It's, it is technically the absolute show. Fine. If you guys are fans of Hasbin Hotel, I have some prints that I'm selling, and we're doing a digital signing on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Saturday, I'll be streaming on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco at 12 o'clock PST. So if you want to get some prints, I have some stuff up there of Alistair and of the Honeycast characters. Jack Kaiser did an amazing very realistic looking uh, Alistair, half demon, half human. It was fantastic. I had a lot of fun working with him. So go check those out. And yeah, even if you just want to stop by and say hi, it'd be nice to have you. I'm going to be streaming a lot. I'm basically doing six hours of streaming into the Prince Division bed into a full day of streaming. It's going to be nuts. Uh, Protoss with five bits. Thank you so much, Protoss. Appreciate it. Uh, Twisted... With the 200 bits, hey guys, today is my birthday. I just turned 21. You guys are amazing and inspired me to become a DM. I love you guys. Well, thank you, Twisted. Appreciate that. Congratulations on both being a DM and turning 21. Now all of those things, except for renting a car, are open to you because they charge more when you're under 25 in America because they, you know. Siren's Eyes with the tier one sub. Hashtag love Bosco 2020. Hashtag knock it off 2020. Uh, we've got Tamer with 500 bits. No message, just bits. Burnout Vaughn with 100 bits. Bosco, are you prepared to carry the party as the only one with Featherfall? Underrated spell, but clutch. Wow. wow. Just so, I don't exist. That's cool. So, yeah, I was just going to say Seika has it. So <laughs> Seika and Remy, you know, the two guest characters, are I quite literally going to carry the party with Featherfall. Yes, we are prepared. Very Derpy Pancake, thank you for the tier one <laughs> Twitch Prime sub. That's three months in a row. Heist hype. I still like my episode title. I'm going to mm. stick with Sky Heist. I like it. CG with 100 bits. So anyone else thinking of the music from Chrono Trigger in the Kingdom of Zeal when walking around this place? I actually, so I looked on my Ravenloft thing. It wasn't the, the I, I pitched the wrong ones. It was, so if any of you are looking for wind sound effects on Roll20, the Battle Bards tab. Uh, there's light, medium, and heavy. I think it's like light, medium, and strong or something like that. It's the Battle Bards uh, ambience. It's like a minute and 30 of light wind, medium wind, and heavy wind. So it's about a minute and a half of each of those. Technically, you could put those all in a playlist and jumble the order, and it would just randomly increase the wind for like seven to eight minutes. Uh, hey, that art jack is in the chat. Absolutely shout out to Jack who did the art. Also, shout out to that art jack who I talked to for 10 hours the other day about print work because I have now learned more about DPI and printing and what the hell a radio filter is in terms of art. I, I thank you, Jack. My head hurts. Also, thank you for playing Halo with me. So I uh, went to go 
grab that image and my tablet did a windows and i was like no oh god <laughs> but i have it so just give me a hot second here i'm a little behind. no you're good i got i got the bits and subs on lock also i love this name Ola Wabingo, but I want to call you Ola Wabingo, is 100 bits saying, loving the stream so far whilst I'm at work. Hey, Bosco, hate to tell you this, but you're great. I know, but your check's in the middle. That'll stop him. No, I just love how much people are willing to lie to me. Origins Fury with some bits. First time watching live in months. I'm finally caught up. Blackfoot Ferret with the 420 bits. Zeal Music is ideal. We've also got Great Otaku Bomb with a thousand bits. There can well, there can be only one. Uh, Ed seven six five super with a tier one sub. I wonder who Kenny Omega would be in the world of Alavast. Uh, he'd be Kenny freaking Omega. I don't know. That's who all. That is, then he's not going to. He show is up a professional tired. wrestler who is changing the business is. and is quite good at his job. Unless that's all I'm going to say because I know Monty hates wrestling. Protoss five bits. I'm hoping by the end of this arc that Greckles gets the ability to fly. I'm hoping that by the end of this arc, Greckles has a good time. Oh, Greckles uh, Toro Roro Roro -ro -ro with bits for oh, the, the way, blown. I don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't hate wrestling. I just don't understand it. Um, like I was watching. Do you like soap operas? No, I was watching. Oh, then that's why you don't like wrestling. And all I learned was that the the tables in Japan are real, and that's yeah. all I learned. <laughs> The tables in Japan are real, and that's there why this, they're crazy. There's one joke from The Simpsons that just best sums that up. In America, you reward intelligence. In Japan, we punish ignorance. It's true. Their game shows are proof of that. Toro Ro 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 with the bit saying, for the blown bicep Borky. We've got uh, Bubba Bob with 5,000 bits. Ask Zito how much he likes heists. I get it. You did an Ezra reference. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, one of my players, uh, Grant's character, had a had a was a rogue, and he had a phrase: "Do you like heists?" And it would always start. The table? Yes, it is. Ah, uh, see, you know you're a good DM when people are referencing your stuff in other freaking streams. Hell yeah, no, it's it's super rad when people tell me that. Like I obviously for gags, I play it off like oh, I get it, I clapped, but no, it's really fucking rad that people actually Damn. enjoy it enough to do that. Hi, guys. Edward Bosco here, guest on The Unexpectables. Be sure to check out TFS Hi. on the Table wherever your podcasts are listed. I really hope he actually has podcasts. Otherwise I'm it's on YouTube. Listed. There you go. Nailed it. YouTube podcast. The whole, that the counts. Whole the whole campaign's on YouTube. Check it out. Check it out. YouTube. If you want to see Zito DM and have to tear his hair out like Monty does hers, it's great. Uh, Peter Piper with another 100 bits. Do you like heists, Zito? Heists? <laughs> okay. Heists? Yes. Uh, Tizzo Mozart, thank you for the 100 bits. Me. Title suggestion, Breaking Wind. It's an interesting title. <laughs> also, we've had a lot of good titles. I want to yell at you for trying to correct the person who said Clouds 11. That was an Ocean's 11 reference. No, I know it was Ocean's 11, but Cloud 9 I thought would be better. No, it's a heist. <laughs> yeah, no. Cloud, cloud 9. <laughs> Listen, there had to be 10 other heists, so... Oceans 10 and Oceans 9 That's and Oceans not 8. That's what the 11 stands for. That's totally, there's there's 11 oceans, and they were hijacking one of them. I've seen the movie, dude. Hey, Monty. Hi. Actual game question. Um, Have there ever been, like, clouds at, I hesitate to call ground level? But have have there ever been, like, wisps that we'd have to, like, walk through or, or anything like that? or In the elemental plane of air or just in general? Just in general, while we're walking around the city. You fucking like just fog. gave me the vi You just gave me a vision of like a cloud just coming down from the sky and walking like in the shape of a person. <laughs> there, were little, there were little sentient clouds that you you noticed people had, but beyond that, like it was clear air. On leashes? Okay. Yeah, well, not on leashes, but they were clearly like companions or familiars to some people. Not, not oh even God. gonna lie, I, I made those like last year. They're called puffs. They're very cute. Mm -mm -mm. Now, if they say, happen to now if they happen to be magic dragons, we'd have a problem. I was, I was magic dragons. Back? I think everybody's back. Connor, Connor, are you back? I am here. Cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, real quick, we have burritos with two hundred bits, no messages, bits, and we have lurker with four hundred bits. Yup, six a.m. Too early. See you in the vod. See you later, dude. Go to bed. All yeah, right. Protoss, thank you for the five bits. All right, let's do it. So, what is your guys' plan? The one we came up with with the pass without a trace and say goodbye. Attraction. 
Me so offering my body in. as a sacrifice. Seika's gonna go in, and you guys are gonna slip in, and then you guys are doing this at mm -hmm. night, correct? Oh, yes. yes. Okay, does anybody in the party not have dark vision? That would be yep. me! And Remy. Okay. Remy and, and Greckles, you do not have dark vision, so keep that in mind. Yup. Although we are following a giant torch of a man. No, at least you're going separately not, from me. He does not emit light. By definition, light. he does not emit <laughs> light. So unfortunately, but we oh, are in a group with other people that have it, so we're gonna be fine because you just hold oh. on to the shoulder. I am going to show you guys. What if I light the bridge on fire, thereby giving them means to see where they are going? You can fuck right off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. It's just crazy enough to work. Look, I you get it. Elohim didn't catch a lot of fire spells. All right. Just, you don't need to so do here, it now. Here is your map, and there are guards present on the left and right, as you can notice. Hey, look at this. So Must be the you money. Guys wait and, you guys wait until nightfall um, before you guys leave. Sonus um, walks up to you, Remy, and goes, um, uh, Remy, right? Uh, yes. If you see my father, please, please help him. I can assure you we will do whatever we can for your father. Thank you. We will be here if you need us. She of course. Nods. Remy will bow politely and then meet up with the group. All right. So you guys make your way out in the dead of night. The city streets are empty. Um, what guards there are, Human, Leon, uh, helps you guys out in kind of avoiding them, eventually leading you guys to the uh the bridge that leads up to the uh front sort of greeting area of the uh tempest temple pavilion um so i've put the map on the screen for you yes you have there are two small torches where the guards are standing that kind of give them some light obviously mm -hmm. they can't just stand in complete darkness um these guards uh have what look, appears to be flails in one hand kind of like on their sides and large like shields like um probably like from their feet probably at least five feet tall shields oh tower like, shield i was about to say they're like, like they're shield? tower shields yeah they're mm. tower shields and these uh, are genasi any... as well these are genasi yes are there um, any symbols on their shields um, roll. I would say for you, since you're taking the lead, I'm gonna plop you in the front and put everybody else behind you. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm sorry. Yep, no, go ahead. I was gonna say, by the way, pass without a trace on everyone except for Seika. Okay. Uh, um, that also means that, uh, just, just for clarification, they cannot be tracked by magical means, and they cannot actually leave any like tracks of, of their well-known position behind. No footprints. No yep. footprints at all. Cannot leave any trace of themselves. How long does that last? Ten minutes. Okay, just so we know. This will be good. All right. So, okay. uh, as you guys make your way forward, this is the most... I had to... Dude, I had to download this map so fast. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I... I, 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 I I, it, you know what's embarrassing fine. about this? I ditched this because I thought it looked hideous, and I'm like, I'll just make it up as we go. And then you realize, Monty, it's a map. map. Like, don't fuck. worry. I know, I know. Anyway. Monty, don't worry about it being hideous. We just appreciate that you take the time to give us a general reference of what we're doing. That's all mm -hmm. we're looking for, because our head will do the rest. Okay, so, uh, Seika, you are on the bridge, and you're striding forward. Yes. Uh, were there any uh, symbols on their shields? Uh, as you break past the bridge, you can now see them in the light. Go ahead and roll a perception check for me. 14. 14. Okay. They do have symbols that appear to be um, stylized depictions of the Elder Tempest on them. The sort of serpentine air-like body with uh, like a plethora of wings. And I want to find some sneaky music. Da -da 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 also, uh, point of note, while we're, while we're getting our spells ready, I am going to cast tongues on myself as well. I have not a not need, Is that concentration? I do not need to concentrate on time. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, cool. Bonnie, go for it, please. I finally get to utilize my Greckles playlist that I have. Beautiful. You have a Greckles playlist? So, see. It's, all it is is it. It's funny because this song's called Blackbird. Oh, oh, how nice. Oh. Hey, Bonnie. Right. Yo. Hi. Can I spend one minute to put Hide and Plain Sight on myself? Absolutely, yes, you may. Thank you. Now I have a plus 20 to stealth. <laughs> you! 
Only while you're standing still, though, right? Yeah. Hey, man, it's still... Um, it, just bronk it up. Just stop moving. <laughs> just... So, er Seika, as you yes. step forward, the echo of your footsteps echo throughout the night. You breach past the bridge, and the guards pay you no mind. They just stay stalwart and forward without looking. Um, I will have stopped expecting them to, like, question me, and seeing that they don't, uh, I will actually uh, call out to them. I'll say, um, pardon me. Uh, the one to your, as you're standing forward, the one immediately to your right kind of turns his head towards you, kind of narrows his eyes and goes, Hail. Hail and well met. I'm afraid I have never quite had the pleasure of visiting this temple before. I'm looking for an opportunity to speak with the uh, acting Elder Tempest. Where might I need to go for this? The Elder Tempest. No one speaks to the Elder Tempest but the Grand Tempest. As I understand it, the Grand Tempest is not currently available for speaking to. No, but if you wish to speak with the Secretary Glide, you may enter. He gestures towards the door. Are they simply through these doors? Yes. Thank you very much. I'm like, I have no idea what to do to distract them. I can't tell you about game what I would do because I can't actually. Damn it! Nope, you can't. Uh, uh, I know this. This was your guys' idea. I know. Uh, brain. Here's here's what I would like to do. I would like to. These are stairs, yeah. Up here. Leading up. Yes, those are stairs. Uh, this is so so hard for him. Uh, I'm going to trip, uh, going okay. up the stairs. Uh, and intentionally loosen my tanto so that it clatters on the stairs and falls back to the bottom. Okay. Um, okay. A tanto is, apologies, can you clarify? It, it's it's a big dagger. Okay. <clears throat> and it clatters down all the way down the stairs. Okay. Uh, so move your character where you want to be positioned for the sequence or else I'm not going to be able to respond to what you want to do. So okay. I'll have been here and we'll say the tanto clatters all the way back to the bottom of the stairs. All right. Uh, you notice that um, the guards kind of turn their heads and look towards it, but they do not leave their positions or their posts. Oh, are, God. Are their heads actually turned? Yeah, their heads are actually turned. They're both kind of... They're both looking, and the one that you were talking to looks at it and then looks up towards you. Just kind of like, why would you drop that? Like, kind of like... You're, you're kind of suspicious. They're kind of looking into you and seeing if you're being <clears> suspicious. <throat> so I would like for you to roll me a <laughs> deception check for oh, no. Seika. Oh, oh no. boy. Oh, awful. Six! <laughs> Great! I rolled a natural one. Six. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Die Hard Dice! It's not Die Hard Dice! dice. I, I don't know why it's uh, why it didn't dice. roll high. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to roll dice. well, remember oh, to well. switch to Die Hard Dice. There when you your go. other dice aren't getting the job done, remember <laughs> Die Hard with Die Hard Dice. These claims cannot be proven by Unexpectables or Die Hard Dice. Use the promo code EXPECTJOY to get 50% off your purchase. All right, shut line. up. Okay. <laughs> they kind of narrow your eyes, their eyes towards you, but their their backs are turned now to the, the front of the gates. I'm terribly sorry about that. I've spent quite a long time on the back of one of your rocks. I believe my legs have failed me. Hey, Monty. Hi. Let's move on. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and drop me an invisibility genjutsu and uh, move up while invisible. Okay, so who else is? Is it just you being invisible? That's all I can do. I can only do one at a time. Okay. Here, let me. Yes, at level two. Good grief. Um. Are right, yeah. Four. Sure. Yeah, because I don't have third level spell points. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise this would be a lot easier. Right. So yeah. So there we so go. So remember. Remember, pass without a trace. You have to maintain within the group, I believe, for pass without a trace. Is he has to be. You have to be within thirty feet of me. But he also yeah. gets a bonus to his hiding being invisible, doesn't he? Or they get he a does, disadvantage? He does. Yeah. He gains. He okay. gains advantage on it. So, right. you're gonna. You're, you're, Greco's just gonna start moving forward and then slowly fade away. That's I guess kind of like a. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we're moving up. Okay. Steps into the shadows. Never steps out. 
I get to do this for an hour. I love this spell. <laughs> it is a concentration yeah. spell. That's the only downside. Yeah, Porky, that's true. You're also in this sequence of events. Yes, I know. I know. I'm just like Porky. Like... Like little, little... I'm, 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 I, I want to be a little bit ahead. That way we're spread out just a tad bit so we don't have a cluster of too much noise. Fair enough. It's really oh, hard because the bridge is only 10 feet across and it's, yeah. it's kind of like those, the red, um, I hate, this is so generic and I'm so sorry, but you know the Uh, Task, he wants to be a little bit in front of us, so. Oh, right, right, which, right. Sorry, which, sorry. Not sorry. too much. What, what's the range on Pass on a Trace? Is it 10 feet? 30. 30. 30 okay, feet. so we're in a good spot right here. Just gonna keep inching up Monty until we need to start doing stuff. Okay. The guards kind of they don't go over and grab your dagger. They are not leaving there. They're kinda of like the British guards where they just don't leave their post no matter what. They turn back. I'm literally doing a life alert hmm. commercial in front of them and they're like, Man, sucks to be you. <laughs> as a basically. As a as a note, where are the torches located around? The these torches guys? are right next to them so the torches are right here they're on the walls oh so they're okay you oh, and i right. have the same idea panic as perfect a no yep. this is great I, I guess i'll i'll pick myself up all right and, uh, head you back down to, to get up. pick up my my tanto again okay you awkwardly the spaghetti falling out of your pockets you awkwardly <laughs> go back and go pick up your tanto uh, oh, I'm gonna man, turn. I'm gonna so turn to panic. Panic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to have to change the plan. You should message Seika with your magic. What should uh, we do? You should just f follow along with us. Don't do anything bombastic. You're messaging that to Seika with your message, Kendra? No, I'm, I'm, I'm he was telling, he's whispering back to Renly. telling that to Borky. Oh, you're telling that to Borky, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. to Borky, good. Okay, yeah, um... Okay, so you're thinking what I'm thinking with the torches? Yes, yes, it, it should work. Do you have that? Oh, uh, let me check. Because I don't think, I don't think Press can do it, I think... Oh, Press can't do it, shoot. Thaumaturgy can. I sure do, can, but not I press. have the that. Problem is I can do it two times in a row. Don't worry. All right, fine. I'll follow your lead. All right. Just act natural. Move with task. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna message. I'm gonna hold uh, my thumb to my mouth and my pinky is extended out to Seika, and I cast message. Okay. And I say, Seika, I actually have another idea. It'll, it'll get us through no problem. I don't think well, you've, you've never done this for Seika, have you? Yeah, but you know it's me. Right. But uh, am I able to respond? Uh, to toy message. You point your finger towards a creature and whisper a message. The target hears the message and can reply in a whisper that only I can hear. Okay. Whatever you are doing, please do it quickly. I am very uncomfortable out here. <laughs> Piling that spaghetti. Oh, that's the worst bit of it, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. I'll cast it again. Uh, I'll cast it again. There, there's light okay, in front of him, correct, Monty? Sorry? There, there is light illuminating everything past the bridge, correct? Uh, Yeah, the bridge itself is dark, but at the base where you guys had entered, there were there were lanterns. Can I, roll they... a percep can I roll a perception check to see if the door looks like it's locked or if it's something that simply needs to be pushed open? The door ahead of you? Uh, the door that Snake is going to have to walk through and eventually we're all going to meet up on the other side of. I'm going to say from this position, no way. Like, it's dark and you do not have dark vision, so I'm going to say no. Even looking out into the light from the dark, that wouldn't... The dar the light is not encompassing the door. It's encompassing the spaces on either side. Got it. You, you yourself right. cannot see the door from this position. Yeah, like, Copy like, that. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll be like, okay, task, keep moving. Okay, just point me in the direction you want me to go. I'd say right before you get to the gap. As soon right. as I can see those torches, thaumaturgy on both of them to dim the lights. Okay, I'd like everybody for me. Uh, Borky's gonna move up too because he's yeah, uh, he's, 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 please everybody stay with the bridge. With the, everybody with the exception of Seika, roll for me stealth checks with your plus ten bonus. Okay. And I'm dimming the torches. Easiest as a thing sort to do is just 
Easiest thing to do, just roll a stealth check and just add 10. Like in yep. post. That's, that's the Correct. easiest thing to do. <laughs> in post. We'll fix it in post. 21. Uh, 29. 23. 15. Technically 33. 15. Let's have a go at it. Bosca. Look, I have uh, fucking heavy armor. 26. As the lights go out, the both of the guards are like, huh, huh. They kind of turn and look and do not notice the group of people who kind of sweep in like a, you guys actually are covered with the with the pass by the trait with some fog, with some created magical hey. fog that, that oh, yeah. path kind of has as you guys slip through. This is your chance to slip through into the door. The, the, the guards oh, yeah, let's go. go in, in, Everybody in. Go. Let's go. And I as, door. And Woo! as soon as we're all, oh, as soon as we're all out there, uh, flames come back on as normal. Just okay. The flames turn back on, and they turn, and they see that Seika is gone. Come on, roll twenty. You are killing me with this new update. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's, no, they it's keep frustrating. Pushing that same message too. I've and there's like another one noise. coming too, like a big oh. one. Yeah. Oh god. Also, Jeez. good call on Vomitrigy. I actually thought you were gonna use Prestidigitation, but then when I read it, I'm like, oh, it it's a small work. puff of wind. No, I'm gonna yeah. use Panix Pyrotechnics to no. <laughs> 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 oh. Although to reignite it, would that be pressed? Because I know there's like uh, control fire, so I you don't can, know what is used for what. You can Thaumaturgy lets me dim or brighten lights as I can. I can also change the color of the flames. Nice. Um, pressed, I can light fires with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So as you guys come stumbling in great deal of stealth. Greckles, you're still invisible. Mm -hmm. um, you guys throw open the door and I assume slam it behind you. Uh, or correct. close it behind you. Quietly, maybe? Uh -oh. Quietly. Quietly. Close it behind you. Uh, you notice a rather short, um, almost Danny DeVito-esque <laughs> arrogant Nazi. The trash man! Wearing hey. similar rounded spectacles, similar his his he's got like instead of hair kind of in the sides, he's got like the little crystals kind of growing, kind of like bumps on the sides. Oh my god! Uh, and he is like slotting in a scroll. This room, by the way, um, with the exception of the wall that you guys are each adjacent to, um, every single like from floor to ceiling in this room is just like scrolls. From floor to ceiling are rolled scrolls that have been put into cubbies. Um, weirdly enough, the carpet on the ground is similar to a carpet you would find in Alabast. You didn't even think about it, but the torch fire is also fire, which you haven't seen yet. Um, as you guys make your way inside, the desk is wood. What? Um, yeah. And as you guys enter, you see, who? Don't let the cold. And I. He kind of turns up and he sees you. Do you guys? The rest of you guys hide? Yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody roll an additional stealth check for this. I'm going uh, under the desk. <laughs> I am intentionally not hiding. I am tiny, so I therefore I am fucking dodging. Let's go. Oh no. Are you oh, kidding? No. Oh, Greckles! Everyone chill. It's sound. You have advantage. Okay. You have, you have advantage because you're invisible. So there you we go. So that is right. Oh, thank God. Yeah, everyone uh, relax. Hold on. Hold on. I, I didn't roll yet. <laughs> Everyone chill, that's why. 35. Okay. Uh, 22. 21. Everybody, oh, no, you got a 31, Borky. Everyone passes. Remy just barely passes. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Right. Oh, armor! Under the table. <laughs> <laughs> We're all stuck under happening? the table. Imagine he just oh. hears a bunch of... Yeah. Oh, Mon <laughs> Mon Monty. Monty. Uh-huh. Is it okay for me to be kind of over to the side since I visibly yeah, can't be? Yeah, you're through? invisible. You can go wherever you want. So <laughs> okay, you can't okay. like go near the door. No, no, no. no. I just want to. I just want to be within, but not too terribly close. Why is Borky really? underneath his feet? Silly, <laughs> okay, silly question. If Borky were to like, if Borky's on all fours. If he were to lift his back up, would the whole table lift up with him? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, it's a short table too. okay. Well, we'll so hold don't... off on that. Do it that. might be useful. <laughs> be like Surprise! The opening of Toy Story. Hiding under this table is like hiding under a bed as a kid. Like, it's yeah. just like, yeah, it's very Chad is claiming they can't quote. see the map. This is the moment. Oh. Uh, Apologies. Uh, just have to scroll it up. This is the moment in the horror film when the, the heroine who's been running away from the slasher, like, hides under a car. And you're like, this shouldn't work. But it works. <laughs> well, so usually the killer's like wearing a fucking, fucking haunting mask. ground. It's like 11 drunk guys play when they're hiding under that bed and they turn off oh the light my and they God. turn it back on and Chris Walker is right there. Anyway, 
Uh, this Whoa. portly little uh, Aragonasi fellow kind of like adjusts his glasses and turns towards you. Like he goes, "Oh, a fire Aragonasi! We haven't seen you in quite some time. Um, why you've come in quite late?" Yes, I apologize. I admittedly am a little unused to this sort of travel. Ah, air travel. <laughs> Uh, I'm very sorry, but unfortunately, we are not able to give audience to anybody at the moment, even those of, um, your caliber. I am greatly sorry. I could notify you in the coming weeks if there's a scheduled time in which you can meet with our officials. I am afraid that the business with which I'd like to discuss with- wait. The business of which I'd like to discuss with them is of utmost urgency. I understand, but you see, there are more pressing matters we must organize first before we can really give you the right um, support that you require. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kindly step please. in while he's talking and lean in very closely and allow a little bit of the smile to fade from my expression. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the business is the safety of all of the elemental planes. I'm afraid oh. rescheduling would be very, very unwise. Roll an intimidation check for me. Book him. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. Just ignore it. Just ignore Seven. it. Just ignore the number on the other side. So His mad. friendlier demeanor turns into manager at Walmart very quickly. Oh, can I? Uh, he hops and goes, <clears throat> with all due respect. You are not the only one affected by this current transition of power. So I ask you kindly, before we get the guards involved, that you must leave. I am gratefully sorry, but unfortunately, there are steps we must take. Transition of power? Yes. Perhaps we are not speaking of the same thing. I would not describe the invasion of my home plane as a transition of power. I'm gonna cast Mage Hand. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna see what you do because I have an idea. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, panic. Do what you do. Okay. So I have got 30 foot range. Uh huh. <laughs> so these are full of cubbies, right? Yeah, call it. They're full. They're cubbies that have scrolls in them. Yes. I'm just gonna tug one out. <laughs> okay. Are yeah. you pulling it completely out, or are you just pulling it out slightly? Enough to where I'll notice. Okay. Uh... <laughs> All right. You do so, and the the Aragonasi is just like, I understand, but from what we can see, the air elemental plane of air is just fine. There's no need to panic. And I, hey, on Earth. I look at it as well because I didn't know that this was being done, so I'm also surprised. Uh, by what is I'm, I'm waiting catch. for I'm waiting for uh, him to to go over to it. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be like, I'll be like, hold. You stand right there. You watch as he walks over. And he gently uh, tries uh, to shunt it back into place. I know just take a, no, 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 no. Let's go. Yep. I, I'm, I'm going to start looking. I'm going to catch Panic's eyes and be and like, I get it. And I'm going to shove and, everybody to, to run. No, no, no. Panic, mage hand the door like he's leaving. That's and I what I was him. about to do. But we yeah, have to yeah, move while it's happening. And I cast really? Pass Without a Trace on Seika. Okay. So I, so I I just shove open the door slightly. It's the most dishonorable Monty, thing I've ever done. Money, as soon, I mean, as soon as he starts going over, I'm going to try to quietly open the door. Okay, this roll a stealth some, check for me. Guys. This is some cartoony bullshit we're getting. I love this though. Nice. 30. This is technically without Pass Without a Trace because you're opening a door. I unfortunately not. couldn't see yeah. you. So. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. 20. 20 so. still. That's still 20. So. Okay, he doesn't hear you. All he right. gently, he like shoves back the scroll and goes, that's ridiculous. This place hasn't had drafts in years. Go, 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 go. Am I? Am, okay. <laughs> so, Why, Jesus. so somebody, <laughs> hold on. So I need to know, <laughs> very <laughs> important to my honor, is somebody making like the main door is opening yeah. and closing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. this door. 
this door right here, I'm gonna have it seem as though you just left through that way. And I, I will grab Seika by the arm and tug them if they don't uh, realize what's going on. No, I'll go. Really that is an like order. <laughs> I really don't like it, but I'm going. Oh, yeah, guess what? Right. 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 You guys dive out into the main pavilion, and simultaneously, uh, panic as you run through the door, you flex your hand inwards as your mage hand slams the door shut, and you guys slam the door shut, so they almost slightly off like mm. off timed, but the, both the doors shut, and you watch as like you guys aren't there for this scene, but the Arganasi goes, oh, oh, goodness gracious, how rude! And he stumbles back. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing like a full piece of it dies. <laughs> oh, the dishonor! <laughs> well, we've gotten past level two. Let's see what level three is. That guy had a. Nobles don't have very high. Hold on, hold on. Certain nobles might. Do he can. might hey, not, but there are nobles who might. Yeah, the noble gets a He's persuasion, a but not a perception. Guys, I'm not. So. Guys, I'm not. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. This is the part where one of us needs to say, "Wow, this is going off without a hitch." No, no one of us needs to say that. It is imperative. As We're about to guys, hit the second act. As you guys make your way into the main pavilion, it is filled with beautiful gardens of stone and water. What? Uh, plants you've never seen before. Um, and notably, four monolithic towers where you see guards on the peak of each one doing kind of keeping a general warden's watch up top. You guys hide in some shrubs. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just still so entertained by that. This is so, I can't break. I was so happy. Great. Uh, Question, Monty. Do we see what uh, Sonus described in terms of where we would go next? Like the the, the so, platform leading towards underneath the castle? There is or is no this the guard station where they're trained? So there's four towers, and then to the north of that is, you can see it. You see the temple, the stairs leading up to the temple. Okay. If we follow the perimeter of the wall, will we be encased in shadows? So we basically walk the perimeter of the wall since they're all up top. You will, but you will still be within eyesight of the people on top of the tower if you were to move that way. Correct, but there's, there's no there's, place. There's no way for us to, because it's an open courtyard. So the, all we can do yeah. is stick to the shadows. Yep. Attempt uh, to. Re Remy, without talking, is going to try to catch everybody's eyesight, point towards the wall, and motion for people to press up against it, and then point forward to move around it. With task leading the way. So... I know you said I don't technically give off light, but because I am light, am I visible from a distance? Um, Ganassi are... Here's the thing, okay? You got thick so, skin. Normal Ganassi in the vanilla-ass Forgotten Realm style, you're just like red humans. It's, right. I sleep. Right. I tweaked it so you're a bit more fiery, cool. but right. yeah. I'm not doing that as a detriment to you. You're able to okay. dim yourself enough that you can't be noticed. You can okay. be stealthy. You can also cover you. yourself too. Dim the yeah, lantern, perfect. Bray Wyatt. Come on. You can, yes, you can turn just... it on and off. I'll turn the Bunsen burner down to one and we'll be Appreciate great. you. Thank you. I, just, all right. I was like, so I was like we all get past all the traits as long own. as we stay within close proximity yep. to each other. Sweet. Yes. Cool. So do we as have to make it? As you guys are standing there here. Ah, as a crane next to you just sort of preens itself. Uh, that crane is making peacock noises. Oh, shit. I, <laughs> I think that peacock is an immigrant. <laughs> Wait, anyway. somebody like walks up to the peacock. Panic, not now. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was just. I got some inspiration. <laughs> I'm moving along. He got my some hurts. inspiration. My, he my head hurts. I'm laughing too much this session. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so do we need to make stealth checks as we move yes. along the wall? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. So no, plus 10, guys. All right. All right. So All right. As you, as you slip around in the garden, everyone makes stealth checks. Oh, hey, that's oh. a natural 20. Oh, All bless right. you. 29 from Sega. Well... That's I a 13. Well, I got a nat one. It would have been 30, but you know. Natural one to the tune of 30? You can't. You don't auto fill skill. Uh, auto fail skill checks, right? No, that's not a thing. That was Is that. Three, did five, they change five, that? Five, I'm Up to severity. Monty. I'm rolling severity for tasks. Relax. Hits a, hits a, just hits a Two. bucket. You hit a bucket. Okay, we're good. Um. So that's 13 for Remy. 
That's oh, 30 for 30 Borky. 30 for Borky. Nat 40? 20 for Greckles. Almost 40 for Greckles. <laughs> Almost 50 for Greckles. That's a 49. No, or no, that's 30, 39. 30. I'm crazy. It's a 39. And then, wow, 20. Okay, so 23. you guys are monsters. <laughs> no, Pat L is a monster. Bless yeah, Pat without, without a trace point. is doing what Bane oh. did last session. Yes, yes it's exactly. just getting us over the finish line. Yeah, but um, Remy and Task, because you guys are sneaking. Uh, Task, you hit a bucket, and Remy, you like scramble to get it. To, it's like doing that thing where it spins around on the ground, and it's like, hoo, oh. hoo, 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 and you like kind of grab and stop it, and you hear a voice go, "Hello, who's there?" And you see like a younger female noble ganasi similar to sonas kind of looking around and you you watch as she's holding a flower in her hands and she goes stormin is that you uh how much am i able to it would be if i'm I i'm next child? i'm next to panic uh do i i've seen you use thaumaturgy before right yeah have i seen you use it to like throw your voice i think so so I've Remy's gonna lot. turn to you very quietly and go, throw your voice, answer her, get her to leave. Please, we must hurry before we're caught. She kind of giggles. It's a trick. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, God. Okay, so I will, I'll use Thaumaturgy to throw my voice. Okay. And I'll say, I'm over here. And I'll, I'll throw just <laughs> like a, like, a couple like like 30 or 45 feet away from us <laughs> okay we're all a deception check for me okay this is why i had you do it oh, my head hurts my <laughs> I'm so like, much. Connor, come on Connor. my oh, okay. stomach is in my throat right now uh that's a 17. come hey. on oh, you're so silly stoneman where are you hiding and she walks off 30 feet away Let's go! We still hit this! Go, go, go! Catch a new fat guy rolling from Dark Souls. <laughs> we're still we're moving. We're fucking Grits moving. His teeth and, and double fingers towards the towards the front of us. Let's fucking go. <laughs> what a clever okay. girl. So, Swar that's your first. As you dive in through the gardens, you are now up against the shadows of the wall. I need a second stealth check for me as you make your way past the first. All righty. He's going to just be gentle. Uh, oh. 30 Roll 30 20! 30. Yeah. Damn it! Four. You're good. Uh, 14, you're 14, here I go. 14, dude. Oh, I got it. 22. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 36 from safe. So, 30, as you guys begin to, to like, crawl from the Empress of Grooves uh, <laughs> up against the wall and, like, shuffle your way across, uh, you uh, hear a voice from guards going, Hey, what are you doing over there? And you immediately, <gasps> all of your hearts suck up into your chest. As you watch these two guards approach this noble woman and one of the other guards who appears to be not in his armor, and they like there there's you hear some conversation oh, between the no. two of them. <laughs> they got busted, dude. Oh no. 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 I'm they so sorry, fucking. young lovers. Bam, it was bam, destiny. Bam, bam, bam. That's all right, it's a great distraction for us to go, get go, the go, fuck go, out of go. Dodge! Cartwheels! <laughs> but, uh, right. but, uh, panic, night, panic, mutter, panic mutters under his breath. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's fine. Let's just go. A victory you for watch, the unexpected. I was talking, I was talking to them. <laughs> you watch as the guard, like the male guard, is like, it's not what it looks like. And then she goes, How could you say that? And starts crying, and the other guards are looking at the Oh, we're going to be a I take it back, nobles. Jeez. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Don't Remy, Remy sneezes right. and runs. As you guys make your way to the stairs, the last stealth check for me. This is the one where you're right. the most open. Uh, All right. Ooh, 32. Be gentle. 29. 15. That's so not bad. That is a 42. 24. Boy, I would love Sega. for this armor to work with me. 23. I rolled a 14. Let's oh, go. Oh my god. We beat it. Let's go. So the Wait. Serpent's guard. So you guys succeed. Let's You're making your way up the stairs in a hurried fashion as you watch the noble woman and the guard get taken away. Or, you know, being out and yeah, about. Okay. As you guys make your way up to the front, I'm gonna reveal the map, not the full map, obviously. Give me one uh, second. We're, we're, we're walking away from the newest episode of Elements of Love. This is a, yeah, we're about exactly. to have the impel down scene, guys, okay? Just come on. Elements of Love would be a great, like, Genasi fucking soap style. opera. Yeah. 
That would be so good. It'd be steamy with it. the water and fire ones. Oh, literally. <laughs> wow. Sparks would fly between fire and earth. <laughs> All right. All right. Why? Why All do right. you do this to me, Roll20? I'm so pissed right now. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's pull up more puns. More puns while Monty's fixing this. Today, so, my head our guest is looking for love. I cannot believe you rolled a 14 and I rolled a 14. <laughs> Oh, Episode three, love is in the air. It was a group self check, so it meant that if you Ooh. all succeeded, you're all fine. So yeah, great guys. Guys, I'll say this: great fucking thinking in that second room. Like that yeah. was, mm -hmm. I was that like, was really good. I can't do anything. <laughs> I am not built I was, for this. I was ready for someone to Vulcan neck pinch the guy. I was I, ready. I, like for I thought, I, I thought, thought we we could there was have. a way to do that. I, I yeah, like all I was like, have, I've but... seen Panic throw his voice. I have an idea. Yeah. Panic, do you the thing. Like, you can Quick. knock someone out with non-lethal. Yeah, Ma Ma Monty. Monty. <laughs> yeah, but that's considered a coup de gras, isn't it? Uh, it's not oh, a coup de gras. That, that, that famous non-lethal thing we do, like shiv a knife in the guy's fucking throat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, right guys, I come on now. All right, here we go. All right, so, so we made it. As you guys make your way up the stairs, you immediately duck to the side as you see three guards manning two doors. There's one very large chamber door and one slightly smaller door on the side. This temple is massive. I'm gonna give you a sense of the scale really fast. Just give me one okay. second here. I'm gonna grab your guys' tokens as well. Oh, I've fuck. been grabbed. Crikey. Hold on. You guys aren't in this position. I'm just giving you guys a sense of how big sure. this is. So I'm missing, where's panic? I'm over um, here. Well, your token doesn't I'm over come here. With it. Oh jeez. One one of the birds goes ah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that means they don't exist. No. So hopefully this works. But here is what you are looking at in terms of the scale of this temple. Oh boy. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh dear God. Uh, oh fuck oh. me. Um Oh dear wow. God. Uh you got real quick. Sorry, chat. That's wow. big. Oh man, oh, this is the biggest no. map you've ever made. That's I a want, big temple. I want this, you to know. This John, is that, easily the biggest map that we've ever yeah. seen on here. Mm -hmm. I am it's on a biggest... 55 inch television and have to have this at 20%, 30% to see the whole thing. It is very hard to, to show uh, in full size. Uh, you see the temple itself large and beautiful with a massive tower in the back right corner. You see two uh, halberd-wielding, glaive-wielding guards standing in front of each similar door, um, a sort of rotation of guards. As you guys swallow the lump in your throat as your infiltration has only just begun. And that is where we're going to end the session. Yeah, oh, my gosh. Bye, uh, Austin. Just... Bye, Austin. Bye, Bye Austin. Austin. Just so I know where we're at at this point. How long has it been since we started this? Uh, like in terms of daytime? Like in terms of, in terms of since initially passing the bridge to now. Um, not much time actually. You guys what managed to get through probably great. in like less so than 20 the, minutes, I'd say. Past so the have, less, yeah. So my tongues is still up for another 40 minutes. Okay. Cool. I would say, I'd say pass is probably is gonna wear out. I cast it twice. Day. Yeah, so you're, you're good. Yeah. Uh, Real one, quick, what episode oh. is it? 148. 148. 148. 148. We're closing Chat. in. My God, Nadine, great session today. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that yeah. was awesome. So if you're wondering why I pulled an all-nighter, I hope the size of this map tells you a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have, no I'm, I'm happy we got to this map. Honestly, it tells me more about your mental state than it does about why you didn't sleep. <laughs> I, I, I got, like, probably one-third of the way in and just went... Ah oh, fuck! And I just kept going, and I was like, <laughs> "Here's the Penny. question: Did you Damn. did you hand draw it, or did you use yes. assets? Oh boy! I hand drew all this. Hey, hey, man! Th that, there's a reason she's the best DM in the business. And I can't show you any of it except for the outer, like the outer rims. I drew all rims. of this, and Give none of it matters. Keys, Monty, show us like this block right here. I'll tell you what: oh. After we complete the mission, if we don't for some reason have it exposed, <laughs> please show it off. I will I, show the whole map, yes. Can I please see just uh, square... Uh, can you show us where the a, back guy is? four? Can you tell square us where the bathroom a, is? Uh, yeah, I can, actually. <laughs> oh, 
god. Back the, way you, back the way you came, where the fucking water and the crane was. Oh my god, I'm yeah, putting a stop exactly. to this right the now. We're going around attendant. We're going around the horn! Greckles, where can they find you? Uh, uh, right right here next to you. Like, what do you want? Damn I'm right! We can't and see guys, you, you're invisible! You? Yeah, he's, guys, he's you, what about you? That sounds like a personal problem. Uh, anyway, you can find me at twitch.tv slash gaijinku. But hey, Bosco, we're doing a really kick-ass thing this Tuesday. Yeah, we are. About mid, uh, probably like t noon, noonish, give or take. It's going to be either noon your time or noon my time. So between noon central and noon PST, somewhere in there. We are rolling Ooh. out my new podcast, We Are Boomers, where we're talking about how uh, <laughs> how Otakodom of the past is, has shaped the future uh, with industry guests and Bosco has graciously allowed himself to to become my test dummy. So this is great. I am. Yeah, because uh, if it's awful, you can, he can blame me. If it's great, he could say it was be in spite of me. It's and there perfect. you go. I've got a brand new video it's talking about more me. Tanuki culture and, and Smite. Don's up over at my YouTube. Uh, stream every Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of projects going on right now. Be sure to check them all out. Also, buy all my Team Skilled stuff. You know who never gets to talk about themselves in the middle of all this crap? Kurt. Kurt, where can they find you? Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, what? What? Come on. I, it. I'm go, stealing go, your script. Where can they find you, buddy? Uh, uh, Twitch.tv uh, Twitch slash Takahata 101. Twitter, Takahata 101. I'm building a VTuber model. It's it's coming along really well. Uh, we'll have when is that the, debuting? The, uh, we're going to have a, the debut date will be uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, the bar will be opening up. We will be announcing the name of the bar uh, this weekend in a short video on so yeah so well, that's december what 30? December 31st oh nice what yes. time uh, i do not know yet well okay. is that that it's during that day let's we'll see how much tech runs that day fair <laughs> enough let's just let's just hope we get it running you know that's that is my true game. i can't i can't wait for can can oranges get gray hairs like is that a oh, thing no, is, no, will his no, stem no, turn gray does God, the green God, just God turn bless, gray god bless citric does it wrinkle? Is that what happens? Every for reason? person helped me out with this. This has been a fantastic experience so far. It's been a lot to learn, but we'll see what happens in the future. So, yeah. Nice. Very nice. Hey, Monty. Hi. I've hijacked the show. Where can they find you? Oh, no. I have to get my gun now. <laughs> Is it a nerf what? gun? No, it's <laughs> hey, man. It's got to be. It's either, nothing. Nerf, it's either nerf or nothing. Yeah. It's nerf or nothing. Hi. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, where I probably be posting some stuff with my Warhammer. It's really hard to do a lot of base Warhammer because of the snow outside, and it's way too cold to spray paint things, which makes me really, really sad. Um, this is where having an airbrush would be amazing. But um, I'm probably starting a second army because I've lost control of my life. Huh. Um, it's, it's, I'm just <laughs> sitting here just gesturing, going, <laughs> pointing. <laughs> yeah. Salamanders, so they're really cool. Um, so you'll catch me probably posting images uh, up on the Twitter, but I'm probably gonna be really busy this coming month. I want to hang out with my IRL friends. Uh, but you can also find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow will be Final Fantasy, uh, Final, not Final Fantasy. Oh my god, my brain is like totally gone. Uh, Devil May Cry 5. We are at the tail end of Devil May Cry 5. Um, it looks, I think we're slightly, I think we have two more streams left of Devil May Cry 5, and then we're basically done, and that's the whole game series. I'm thinking after that, I'm probably going to see if I can set up and do, uh, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Blue, Red, or Yellow, like the actual Ooh. classic cartridge games, uh, and then lead that into Pokemon Stadium, because I actually mm. haven't played Pokemon Stadium to any real depth, and I think that'd be really, really fun. Um, uh, so definitely check that out. There, there yeah? is something that you could do, Monty. You could play Beautiful Joe because there's a Dante cameo in it. Oh my God, featuring Dante. <laughs> also, Devil May also, Cry? you can you can also play Shimagami Tensei, the one where featuring Nocturne. Dante Nocturne. from Devil May Cry. Nocturne, yeah. Nocturne, yeah. That actually um, just got a re-release, so that's super easy now. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Is that on, like what did they release? On it's Switch? on Switch. On the Switch. Odd choice, but okay. Um, and on Sunday, uh, speaking of other video games, uh, Final Fantasy IX, we did a lot of grinding. I killed the dragons in one shot that Kurt probably struggled with when he was a child. That's my favorite thing about playing this game, because I get to every single they... boss, and I'm like, wow, I remember Kurt hating this, and I know what I'm doing, so this is great. <laughs> like... Real big, big question. Is it the, the green dragons near Tenno? Yeah. Yep! Fuck the 60, those level 60, level 60 <laughs> grand dragons. You can kill them in oh. one shot with Quinna using level 5 death. God, and it's like the those. best. It's so good. 
A lot of people find that place and don't realize what it is. It's the funniest. Oh, yeah, I died. I straight up, I showed up and I died. And I was like, huh? And then, like, I, I reloaded and my chat was telling me, like, they're level 60. And I'm like, wait a second. That means I can use level 5 death on them and kill them instantly. And then I farmed for, like, hours on just those. And it was great. So, yeah, definitely check out that stream. It's a lot of fun. I freak out about Beatrice and Steiner and all kinds of other fun stuff. Very nice. Hey, is that... That is. Dude, it's world-renowned dungeon master Christopher Zito, oh, creator God, of where? homebrew near and far. What up, dude? Oh, God, he's doing homebrew again, isn't he? Fuck that oh, guy. Shit. Oh, shit. Zito doing God, homebrew so must be a day that ends in Y. Uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> you can find... <laughs> Fuck, that got me. <laughs> where can he's they find good, you? good, man. I mean... <laughs> okay. You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on Twitter, and the Ever Again Almanac on Patreon. Uh, I I have vowed to my readers that the Hanu, which is a race of monkey people, I have vowed to them that that would be out before Christmas, and it's becoming more and more of a reality as I got, I think, three? No, I'm sorry, four out of the seven pieces of artwork I commissioned. Uh, so not only is it going to be a new race, apparently it's one that everyone fucking absolutely wants because I, I get people just giving me monkey memes all day on Twitter. But apparently it's also my first foray into writing homebrew spells like this one, and it's really quick, I promise. The Stroke of Idiocy. You touch a friendly creature hey, granting them... All the time. <laughs> you touch a friendly creature granting them a surge of confidence that even after bumbling the simplest of tasks, they can brute force through any problem. Until the end of your next turn, when the next uh, when the target fails an ability check, skill check, or saving throw, they may re-roll. If the target rolls a critical failure, it is instead treated as a critical success. Hey! Interesting. That's nice. Oh, and, uh, that you know... perfect for me. Oh, you know, and also, uh, there's, there. I play indie games, and I also play, uh, 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 Mugen Kart, which is basically just fucking Doom 2. It's Doom, but made to be Mario Kart. Oh, tell me we about your server. sentient server. Oh, yeah, we have a server now that's based off one of my kobold characters called Jub Jub. He's the fattest boy, and he holds all the things. The, oh. the gag is, the gag is now is that Jub Jub has eaten a magical bag of holding, a.k.a. where all the games are stored. Jub Jub. Uh, yep, yep. Nice. Yep. Hey, Connor McKinley. Yes. What's crack a lagging? Uh, my skull. After laughing that hard. That that <laughs> uh, is good. You know. You know. I can't help but think that Monty probably would have had a better time spotting us if she would have used a particular kind of dice. <laughs> That's <sighs> right. If she had just used diehard dice, then then she would have probably rolled better. Uh, these claims are not founded and cannot be proved in any way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But we'll get we'll get to that in a bit uh, here. You can find me on Twitter, uh, YouTube.com, and Twitch at Distortion Devil. Wow, my brain is fried. I, I can hear you yeah. shutting down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> down what the quick. hell's happening to me? Uh, well, you can find me streaming Yakuza Kiwami 2, uh, as well as some Warhammer 40k Kill Team on Tabletop Simulator played with my buddy Luke. Uh, it was my Drukari against his death guard and that was a whole lot of fun we went for five hours playing one match and it was crazy um other than that you know i i play um uh sometimes i play warhammer vermin tide 2 that's a lot of fun i play um jackbox party pack with my friends that's a lot of fun as well um also be sure to check out dead house sonata six player action rpg where you play as the dead to fight the living it's got a narrative focus being developed by the one and only Dennis Dyack, uh, the man behind Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem, famous uh, GameCube horror game, and Legacy of Kane, one of my favorite games of all time. You can pre-order a Founders Pack. Well, not pre-order. You can pre-purchase a Founders Pack right there. Get early access before it comes out for free uh, later next year. And also be sure to check out the Wizard School of Finance, my uh, first subclass, first of many subclasses that I'm going to be putting on the DMs Guild. Uh, so the wizard school for the entrepreneur that lets you really put your money where your mouth is. Uh, it expands your power with commerce to start affect reality, affecting reality. You can literally buy magic. You can become a master appraiser in order to rack up more funds that will begin to affect reality. Money can't buy happiness, they say. Let's test that theory. And you can purchase that right here. Also be sure to look out later this month for the Paladin Oath of Joy. 
Uh, that's gonna be here real soon. So that's me. That is you. Yeah, that's me. Is, is that everybody else as well? No, we're missing one person. Okay. We're, we're missing a guy that you could find in the hit TV series Megaton Girl as the Wrangler or Fire Force as Karen. That's right, he's played a Karen. Or as the star of The Day I Became a God as Yota, it is none other than Mark Allen Jr. Well, two corrections. Oh. Megaton Girl is not a TV show, but it is fantastic. Listen Please check TV it out. Thing, IMDb, Second correction, his character name is Karin, not Karen. Karen, it's definitely important. Karen. It definitely pronounced Karen. Uh, but yes, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Gaming. You can find me on Twitter at Mark Allen Jr. You can find my fat, sleepy cat, Bunny, on Instagram at Chonk for Life. Uh, please uh, check out on the 12th and 13th. Uh, that's, by the way, in two days and three days, respectively, at this point. Um, check out Blurred City Con. Uh, on the 13th, I will be uh, joining uh, my colleagues Gabe Kunda, Danny Chambers, and Bill Butts for a fantastic panel on black voice actors in anime. Uh, so please check that out. Tickets are only $5. That's right. Right now, tickets are only $5 for this virtual convention. Uh, so head to BlurredCityCon.com uh, for purchasing of those tickets. I look forward to talking to people, answering questions, and having a good time. So check that out. And as always, folks, you can find me at Twitter and on Twitch at Arkov, where today I'm doing a birthday stream. That's right. It is my birthday what? So we'll Happy see if birthday. so we'll see if we can get an incoming raid maybe to twitch.tv slash Arkov playing Final Fantasy 14 for a birthday stream. Okay. You damn right. Oh. Check it out. Make sure you uh birthday? you go. Yeah, December 10th. What a day. Yeah. Oh, it's okay, that's why. Raid message will be happy birthday. Do we want to do some bits and subs before we, we kick it off? Yes. We'll have All right. It, the show is yours, Kurt. All righty, Bob, 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 one, four, five with a 5,000 bits. Ask Zito how much he likes heists. <laughs> have we done these? We did. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, Queso Lasso with the 400 bits. Well, thank you so much, Queso Lasso with the 400 bits. Chaos himself with a 1,000 bits. No message, just bits. But there's also a three-month sub from Chaos himself, so thank you so much. A Wild Pipe, thank you for the sub. Dog of War, Protoss 103, Lurker 504, Burritos 420. Thank you all for the subs and bits. And that's it. Burritos 420, eat it. All right, so our raid message for Arkov will be happy birthday. Happy birthday to Arkov. I, I'm sure, I'll, I'm sure says... I'll appreciate it a lot. All right, go. Fly. Dun-dun-dun-dun. Dun-dun-dun-dun. <laughs> You're really gone, aren't you? <laughs>